Hello, everyone. Welcome back to GDQ Hot Fix in this episode of What's Faster. Before we get started with this PlayStation Classic uh, matchup, I have a couple of announcements that I want to make sure that you're aware of. So, Frost Fatales is coming up. Uh, tune in February 27th to March 5th, and you can type exclamation point FF in chat or go to gamesdonequick.com slash frame fatales uh, to find more info about that uh, week-long marathon that we'll present here on Hotfix. Um, also, we're looking for more Hotfix shows. So if you have any ideas for your own show or like a one-off event, uh, go to gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix and submit your ideas. Uh, you know, I'm sure myself and other showrunners, like feel free to ask us questions. If you're somebody that's like thinking that you want to do it. Uh, I know I've got some tips that I could provide you, uh, but by all means, submit your show ideas. So with that, I think we're ready to go ahead and get started. So Kershaw, if you want to introduce yourself, uh, I'll let you two take it away. Thanks, man. Uh, what's good, guys? My name is Kershaw. I'm a Jack and Daxter speedrunner, primarily Jack 3 because it's my favorite of the series. Uh, I'm actually a new runner. I've, I'm only three months in. It's, just, it's about to be three months. And uh, yeah, it's great to be part of the speedrun community. I didn't think I'd enjoy speedrunning this much. I'm kind of addicted. Uh, <laughs> shout out to my homie Mortis for pressuring me to try it out. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. And uh, hi, everybody. I'm Zem. Uh, I've been running the Ratchet games for a very, very long time, although... Uh, depending on my performance today you may or may not believe that um no it's gonna be a fun time i've run i think at this point now like six or seven different ratchet games over the course of like seven years uh so i'm pretty experienced with these although uh swapping between a lot of categories is always kind of a, a true test of a runner so uh, it's going to be a great time, and I'm really excited to be here with you, Kershaw. It's, 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 I'm excited, too. I'll, yeah, it's going to be hype. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be sick. This is going to be really, really fun. Um, yeah, so this first race uh, for, for chat, just so you know, uh, this first race is a little wild. Uh, we've got we got Kershaw running a single game, uh, and Zim's going to run three games uh, and be swapping <laughs> aspect ratios games. and games and all sorts. Of, it's going to be great. Why did I sign uh, up for this? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> um but yeah so i'm pretty much ready uh whenever you are kershaw uh all right hold on let me get to the new game thing all right uh let me put up the thing all right i am i think i'm ready whenever you guys are ready all right so let's go in uh three two one go all right, good luck, Kershaw. Good luck, man. Oh. So I'm going to die in five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I, something that uh, I'll just take over real quick. There's already stuff happening here in Ratchet. So yeah, I'm, I'm using ahead. the uh, the Walloper right here. Uh, in Ratchet 1, there aren't very many ways to preserve momentum. And uh, so one of the things that we're doing early on before we get Clank is that we're using the Walloper. Uh, we're pausing as the Walloper's at like its highest speed, like its highest velocity. And we're opening up an in-level movie, which allows us to store that velocity. And then we uh, use it to do a bunch of really fast side flips over all this terrain. So that's what I'm doing over here. You are 10 seconds into a run and you're doing nine different things. I'm just doing the tutorial right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm collecting white little dots and learning how to jump and roll. <laughs> yeah, this th uh, thus is the struggle of Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> too much to do with too little time to talk about any of it. Your finger's going crazy 10 seconds in. That is wild. Uh, yeah, right now I'm just doing the, the tutorial. It teaches you how to jump, to roll, to shoot people. Uh, there's no strats to this really, you just gotta do it as fast as possible, uh, which I pretty much did. I got Dark Jack, so if you get Dark Jack before the lava appears, then you're doing amazing. If not, you know, if you get the enemies to six at least, then that should be good. Mine's at five, four, get you, three, get you, two, get you, one, get you, and that's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> I always love watching the training course. It's it's a, like I've watched a fair bit of Jack 3 in my time just because uh, I just know like, oh, whoops. Oh, what am I doing? I know a lot of the people who run the games. And so it's always yeah. really cool seeing like uh, all the training course stuff. Are you doing the, the proxy? I don't know if that's uh, a thing that you're doing yet. 
Oh, I wish I could do that. So basically the proxy is uh, at the beginning of the arena, like five seconds into, you know, after you, you, you start the game, Jack goes up to a flagpole and basically humps it. He humps it so hard, he flies a million <laughs> feet in the air and you skip the entire arena pretty much. It saves you a whole minute. Uh, my hump skills ain't that good. So I, I, I haven't really uh, perfected that, but maybe one day. For now, I just did it, you know, how it's meant to, you know, be done. But yeah. Uh, I had a very funny thing happen. This game likes to eat triangle inputs a lot. And uh, I tried to swap weapons to save myself from dying, and then it ate all my triangle inputs, and then I just died. So that was fun. Oh, that's that's tough. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Thankfully, I died right where the checkpoint was, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah. It's all good. Right now, I'm on a Leaper Lizard, which is basically the main transportation of this, you know, Aspargus, which is a city in the desert. Uh, and we're eating Kangarats. I messed up this one. Oh, no. Uh, the strat for this is basically you need to chase those little kangarats. I think they're half kangaroos, half rats, like everything else in this universe is half half. Um, but if you look at the kangarats, they dash across the map and you will have a poor time trying to chase them. So the strat for this is you have to look away from them. So you look, if you're wondering why I'm not looking straight, I look to the side and the red dots on the map, they won't run away until you're very close and then you get them. So, you know, yeah, that's how the AI works. If you don't see them, they don't see you. Um, and I died on something that I'm like, okay, so I'm pretty practiced right now in Ratchet 1, but a different category. So this is supposed to be my comfort game right now, and I just died on something that is the exact same that it is in the category that I'm currently running. So this is going well. Um, but here, but I, you're very comfy right now. Yeah, very comfy. I can at least explain what's uh, what's happening here. So... You're not supposed to be able to move during this train sequence right here. The the train sequence is supposed to just go by um, and you're just standing still and then you do the train sequence afterwards. Uh, but what I did was I manipulated an enemy to fire a missile. And so as I activate the train sequence, the missile hits me and then I can gain control of Ratchet uh, during the uh, cutscene for some reason. Not sure why it allows that sort of state cancel, but that's Ratchet, baby. <laughs> That's the story of speedrunning. I don't know why it does that. It just does it. Yeah. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> the, the personal favorite is the, the game gets confused. There's always, like, the people who get really angry when people say that. And there's always the people who, like, intentionally say it to make people more angry. <laughs> I'm just doing a mini game right now. There's no sick MLG, you know, pro scratch <laughs> right here. You just click buttons and... It works, you know, it's just a mini game. And we're done that. Probably the, you know, the suckiest mission out of all the Jack runs, you know, it's just kind of boring, but we're done that. We're gonna hop back on our trusty Leaper Lizard. I'm gonna name him Jerry. He looks like a Jerry to me. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the next mission. How was your satellite RNG? Uh, ass. <laughs> I couldn't find another word. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> butt cheeks to be honest yeah just uh, some booty cheeks over there that's okay it happens you know it, satellite <laughs> rng is only good until you need it to be yeah speaking of booty cheeks uh, i went into zem stream earlier today and he was like kashar i'm gonna give you a warning <laughs> you are probably going to rip my booty hole apart in the first race <laughs> which is not really a warning <laughs> it's like a reverse warning <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, you gotta you know i i, I have a uh a, a, perhaps I keep it a little too real sometimes, and I just needed him to know that, like, this is just not gonna be my strongest showing in the world. But you know what? It's okay. I hit this Blarg clip. These clips, uh, what I'm doing right here is, uh, I'm using the decoy, which is meant to be used as a device that distracts enemies so they keep them away from Ratchet, because in this game, Ratchet doesn't have a whole lot of health. Uh, but instead, uh, what happens is that we use it to clip through walls and go out of bounds. Um, and so the decoy clips are actually very precise on PlayStation 3, so they're a little tough to hit sometimes, especially if you're a little out of practice, but uh, I've done them enough times that uh, thankfully they're not too bad. And here we've got uh, a really nice strategy right here. I'm going to make Ratchet just ascend into the air. And then hopefully, hopefully... Yes, sorry, Bob, I'll take that. We get all the way to the bouncer, which is the very last thing that we have to do right at the very, very beginning of the level, so... Yes, sir we take those 
And now I'm about to do the most nerve wracking part of the run. So basically, we're about to do a race, which is pretty much like how to drive the car. Uh, this race takes way too long if you lap around the whole thing, as you see at the bottom right. That's a long racetrack. I'm not trying to do that today. So there's something called the cleaver lap skip, where you basically uh, boost over a rock and you skip half the lap, you know, half the course. But the thing is, the devs hate if you go off course even a little bit. So if you touch the ground and mess up, let me focus here before I mess up. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so I got it. So as long as you hit those rocks and don't go behind those rocks, you should be good. But if you do hit those rocks, it'll give you a big fat game over and it'll tell you to, to do the whole thing over again. And you gotta do that three times. And if you mess it up even once and you're trying to hit a PB or something, you might as well just reset because, you know, it's gone. So let me try not to mess up here. I have two more times to do that. <laughs> Uh, somebody made a comment about my bolt count being 420 million. Um, yeah, I cheated and put that in, and now I actually cheated again during that uh, ship transition, and now I have 69, 69, 69 bolts. So if anybody has nice. any, like, special requests for numbers... Actually, Kershaw, since, you know, this is our first time interacting, if you want to have first dibs on any sort of bolt count, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> I don't know if I could beat 69, 69, 69, bro. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I can't think of a better <laughs> number than that. You might guess, though, if you guys have any uh, better number uh, recommendations, but... We're about to do the third lap here. So I have to do this one more time. It would really suck if I failed this on the last lap. Let me, let me knock on wood. What am I doing? Let me stop. I, re I rebuke that. All right. One more time, and we got this. Pray for me, Chad. Coming up on the jump. I guess I'll grab this boosty right here. Come on, if I fail this, I'm going to eat my desk. <laughs> oh, thank God my desk does not taste good. All right, we, we, we succeeded. We got it. <laughs> Okay, my desk is looking mighty juicy right now, so I understand. <laughs> hey, yo, what color is your desk? Uh, it's a it's a nice little burnt mahogany. <laughs> oh, that do sound tasty, actually. Hold on. <laughs> yo, send me some desk pics after this. What's up? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo I'll, I'll mail you some spare desk after I'm uh, after I get full. <laughs> Thank you. Just chop the corner of that desk. Out. Oh my god, I ran to a palm tree. Please. We're going to go into the water and destroy ourselves because it spawns us back at the city instead of driving all the way there. You get out the car and roll because it's better than reversing back in. And now we're back into the desert, which we will collect artifacts, which is also annoying because the desert has these marauders that try to kill you for no reason. So, and we have no guns. Yeah, why is everybody so mean to Jack? Just like kind of messed up, you know. He's just kind of—he's just exactly. living his life. That's what I'm saying, man. He's living his life, got a nine to five like all of us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I don't know. He's—he's—he's he's, he's just trying to make it out here in the wasteland, but he just hating, man. I don't know. But a trick I do is oh my, okay. I should have did it there. But basically, if you use your rear camera, the marauders spawn. Like, they, they don't spawn in front of you. If you look at the mini-map, you, you see red dots, but they disappear. Because if you don't see them, again, if you don't... Okay, except for this one, but... Ah! Basically, the game's logic is if they, if you don't see them, they don't see you for the most part. And they just disappear. So That's, that's also how things handy. work in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's why I, some, uh... anytime I don't ever <laughs> want to be seen by people, I just close my eyes while I'm walking around. <laughs> Facts, man. Just go blindfold through life. <laughs> like, basically, just treat life like a blind playthrough. That's what I always say. You know, oh, this marauder literally just tackled me. Yeah, these marauders could be a run killer. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm doing AGB strats on accident. That's okay. I can skip this checkpoint. Yeah, so at this point, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've done that I haven't uh, really found the time to squeeze in. But essentially, um, the one thing that I do have to say about Ratchet and Clank, which we have to say every single GDQ event that has a, a Ratchet game in it, 
is that the devs decided to make their lives as easy as possible when they were programming these levels. So oftentimes, the ends of planets are at the very, very beginnings of planets. It's really cool. And so, you know, the end is at the beginning. And um, there's a meme that we like to have that involves J Hobbs, but I don't know how many people in this chat even know who J Hobbs is. So I'll refrain for now. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, who's J-Hobbs? <laughs> the GDQ people know who J-Hobbs is. That, that's that's the only thing that uh, needs to be said there. Uh, uh, I need the Visibomb here, don't I? Yeah, so something that I'm going to be doing right here is um, sniping these fish on the back line uh, all the way at the very, very end of the level using the Visibomb gun. And the reason I'm doing that is to initiate a trick called Guy Warp. Uh, this, is, this guy driving the boat, his name is The Guy. It's just simply <laughs> The Guy. I was going to say, his, his name's The Guy. His guy. name is The Guy. Um, <laughs> and uh, we can try to do our best here to get him to warp to the end of the level. These fish are stuck here. I've never seen this before. There you go. That's one uh, for the counter. Um, and uh, yeah, so it, it'll save. Guy warp saves like what? Like 15, 20, 25 seconds. I'm not 100% sure. So ideally, I'd like to earn some of this time back. Uh, that's going to be the goal here. So until then, I'm just killing fish and walking around. Sounds like a vibe. <laughs> it's like the, the, uh, the suburban, like, 45-year-old dad dream is just going killing, fishing. Just fishing and just, you know, walking around. Just walking and, around. Uh, that's, that, that's the retirement life, man. <laughs> uh, right now, are you, are you riding a chicken? <laughs> uh, on, it's called a leaper. Everything in this Jack universe is half half. So we have yak cows, which is very cute, half yak, half cow. We have kangaroos, half kangaroo, half rat. This is a that's leaper a real lizard. A, a, a kangaroo rat's a real thing. Is it? Wait, is it actually? Yeah, the, yeah a kangaroo rat's a real thing. I mean, Thank it's not an actual half kangaroo, half rat, but it's totally a real animal. Say word. No, you lying. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Wait. No, nah, show me the Carfax. I don't believe you, bro. Wait. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you a link in between runs. Yeah, bro. Show me those insurance papers, because I think you're... I think that's libel. I, I don't know, but... Actually, I think yak cows are a thing, too. Half yak, half cow. I feel like I've seen a yak, a yak cow on the internet somewhere, but... Right, yeah. I'll, I'll Google it and report back. Yes, but please. This, this chicken chicken raptor thing, what, what's this one called? They're just called leaper lizards. Half lizard, leaper half, lizard. half something. We don't know yet. It could be... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. But yeah, they're just called leaper lizards. Half lizard, half... I'll get back to you on that after more research. But I love the animal life in this game. It's very... Uh, creative you know and then these dog things you see in the road see those dog things those are like they're half dogs half i don't know i don't know what they are to mouse rats maybe they're also dog rats who knows i haven't been outside in so long i'm just surprised there's any animals these days <laughs> animals exist <laughs> Yeah, I heard animals just dropped, you know? <laughs> I, I, I heard God dropped that DLC pack, the yeah. animal expansion pack, you know? <laughs> it's pretty dope. A few bugs, but, you know, a, a few... <laughs> you glitches wow. don't work out, but... Oh, but that's <laughs> a good one. All right, I'd like to report that a hybrid yak cow is, in fact, a thing. It's called a dizzo. A dizzo. I, a dizzo. I, I don't know. It's Tibetan, so That's, not not quite uh, my forte, but yeah. I report I'll report back with other hybrid animals soon. A dizzo. We're definitely saying it wrong. When we say it, it sounds like a sneeze. So <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> But that's pretty cool. So I guess, you know, Naughty Dog got inspiration from real life uh, animals. Speaking of animals, we're chasing a, <laughs> a metalhead dinosaur. Metalheads are the uh, the villains of the game, of the series. They're just, you know, another species that just wreak havoc. And there's different metalheads, big ones, small ones, dinosaur ones. And we're just hunting them because why not? Although this mission is scary sometimes because sometimes they turn around and they stomp on you and all your vehicle health just disappears. Okay, that, see, like that. <laughs> almost, I almost got stomped out. They come out of nowhere. They turn around, come out of nowhere and stomp you out.
Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Please just die. We're having very different problems right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, I died. See, bro, these these metal dinos <laughs> just flung me into a rock. Dude, they just come out of nowhere. It's messed up. <laughs> it is, yo. Bro, this ain't Jack, bro. This is Jurassic Park. Uh, I'm here all day. Yeah, I'm, I'm funny, I promise. I'm just going to say, I'm not built to live in that world at all. They're like, you know how they always ask, like, which fictional world would you want to live in? Jack 3, yeah. keep me away from it. I am not Facts. designed for that. Facts. I mean, maybe the first Jack game. The first Jack game is like... I don't know. It's, it's, it looks nice and beautiful, you know? Like, yeah, there's a few enemies, but, you know, they die in one hit. And then Jack 2 and 3 is all melts. Like, these... Oh, no. Everything's huge. Yeah, like, Naughty Dog heard people talking smack about Jack 1, and they're like, oh, you guys want a, you guys want a world? I'll give you a world. <laughs> uh, Jack 1's too easy? Yo, oh, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you what we got. <laughs> So last metalhead dinosaur right here. I would have finished this like 30 seconds ago if that one metalhead didn't destroy me and I had to go back to the start, but we got it. It's all good. Now we're gonna go back to the city. You can leave me alone. Stop shooting me, please. Yeah, so something I just did there, um, I had to do a ship fight uh, where you have to blow up five different chunks of a ship like a flying thing. Uh, I don't know what you would even call it. I guess ship is the most accurate word, although it just feels I, weird. I thought you said something else for a second. Oh. I was like, that is disgusting. <laughs> a what fight? What are you flinging around? A <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, that's in the uh, the R-rated version of, Jack, of, uh, of Ratchet and Clank. We don't talk about that version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I had to do that. I had to break apart the five different segments of the uh, ship. I had to emphasize that. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I really got that one out there. Oh, thank um, you, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, they, uh, it's actually kind of cool. We learned in the past couple of years that there are weak points uh, on the flying vehicle. And uh, we can shoot the weak points to break it faster. And so we don't have to worry as much about the helicopters that are trying to shoot us down in the meantime. Um, I also did a lot of stuff on Gemlik while I was trying to explain that, and there's just a lot. There's just a lot happening, guys. All you need to know about Ratchet as well. Sometimes you'll see me open up a menu, um, and kind of keep a state out of it. Uh, this device is called a PDA. You're supposed to use it to buy ammo, like away from a vendor when you're in a pinch. Um, but we use it to maintain, uh, or rather, to give Ratchet a grounded state so that. Uh, anytime we're in midair, we can just pause the PDA. Like, for example, right here, I'm just going to go up in the air for a little bit, just for swag points. Uh, <laughs> I can go as high as I want. You can literally touch the very, very top of the map. I don't know if, uh, I don't know how high up it goes, but we can keep on going if we really felt like it. Obviously, we don't really have time for that right now, but in theory. Um, and it's really nice because it saves our skin whenever we make really dumb mistakes. Uh, which is a very nice feature of Ratchet 1. There's another feature like that in Ratchet 2. There are no features like that in Ratchet 3, so I've got nothing to save me. It'll be fun. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dope how, like, <clears throat> almost 20 years later, people are still finding new things about this, these games. Like, like it's really cool. All these new, like, hit the hit points you just said. Like, all these new discoveries all mm -hmm. these years later. Like, these games, like, just... They, they never die, it feels like, you know? It's just... Yeah, there's, there's kind of a phenomenon as well in the speedrunning community where it's like, anytime there's like a super legendary speedrun, it's so cool because almost a year later, it'll probably be obsoleted by like some new strategy that was found or some new runner that pushed the time down. It's just always yeah. so crazy. There's always something new. <clears throat> Which is what I really love about speedrunning. Like, again, I'm only three months into this community. Like, mm -hmm. I'm still a new runner. And people are still finding new things, you know. Yeah. And investigating so many different skips and glitches. And, you know, I'm like, dang, like... Yeah. I can't wait to show you guys another, like, like this one skip, which I have no idea how it was even found. It's so specific. But, yeah. 
So, Kershaw, I actually have a question for you. If you're like, because you're really new to speedrunning, how did you find this? Uh, like what? Like the, the like, game or the like, community? Uh, I mean, really, either either one you want to talk about. Like either how you found Jack or or how you found speedrunning in general. Yeah, like I so Jack and Daxter was actually my first ever video game. You know, my dad brought home a PS2, Jack and Daxter 1 was in it, and I fell in love with it. So did he, then, you know, Jack 2, Jack 3. Uh, you know, we just played it all together. And then, you know, all these years later, I've always replayed the games. Like I, I know the games like the back of my hand, but casually. Mm. <laughs> I've 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 been playing it casually for years. And my love for it has never died. And recently, my friend Mortis is a speedrunner. I, I knew he I knew he was a speedrunner for a long time. He sped ran, sped ran. Is that past tense for speed run? Sped ran. He speeds run Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's cool. Not my thing, though. You can never catch me speedrunning, you know, because I had a I had that outlook where it's like, why would you want to like skip half the game, dog? Like mm. you're supposed to enjoy games like like, you know, it's kind of, you know, I, that was my mentality. So I'm like, no, I'll never be a speedrunner. If I ever become a speedrunner, then you can slap me in my booty. And my booty is slapped up now because <laughs> I'm addicted. And <laughs> Mortis said, try it. You'll like it. I'm like, you know what? I'll see how act one goes. I fell in love with it. And yeah, that's why I found the community. It's, it's been warm, welcoming. Everyone there is so nice. Everyone takes the time out of their day to, you know, teach you what they know and, you know, make YouTube tutorials for you. And it's just they're so kind, you know, um, they're great. Uh, I don't know if you all recognize any of these names, but uh, the Rixer, Ricky, he's helped me out a lot. Uh, Outrageous Josh, mm. he's been a homie, always rating me and, you know, showing me that this this community is so positive. It's just it's 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 been a great time it's been a great three months you know that's great man i'm glad you're having so much fun with it like that's yeah that, it, it, and that's what i love about spearing so much as well it's just like you know at the end of the day even though there are leaderboards it's like everyone knows what it's like to be bad at speed running and everyone knows what it's like to like help people out while they're getting started you know exactly like they paid forward in a way like mm -hmm. like they've been in my spot and that's why i'm sure they're so eager to you know, help me out, you know? And it's just, it's really dope. Like, oh, I almost just died there. Um, I don't think I would have stayed in this community as long as I have if everyone wasn't so kind and positive, you know? Like, if everyone was like, you know, to each their own, you know, it's cutthroat, you know, uh, I'm not letting you surpass me on the leaderboard. Like, no, they're not like that. And it's just such a positive vibe. They uplift each other, you know? Ugh. Sorry, I, I am listening, but I do have to run around like a chicken with Are my head cut off. you stretching? No, I have to swap <laughs> consoles. <laughs> oh, it's not like you're doing a nice stretch, bro. Like, yeah, I'm just... Uh, uh, just, uh, <laughs> just having a great time over here. Uh, yeah, so... Um, I don't know how many people were paying attention during this, but some of you may have noticed when I got to the end of Elden 2, where is Drek? He wasn't there at all. And as a matter of fact, uh, we have a skip... Uh, I'm going to explain this and then swap consoles, uh, where if you beat Drek on a file that is not the file you're running on and then don't press the button to end the game, Drek just never spawns when you go to a different file. So you just skip the final boss. It's really cool. Oh. That's so, pretty dope. Uh, Kershaw, I'd, just, I'd like to point out after your, your great story about Mortis like getting you into speedrunning and stuff, uh, I'd just like to point out that they did predict against you in this race. So. <laughs> Excuse him, <Ooh>. what? <laughs> hey, yo, Mortis. Oh, we got to talk after this, yo. Hold on. Also, I forgot to do a major skip. <laughs> I, I was so flabbergasted by that comment that I forgot to do a skip. That could have saved me like a minute. <laughs> But it's all good. We'll wing it. We'll wing it. It's fine. Okay. But Mortis, the betrayal. Yeah, that could have saved me like 30 seconds. Basically, the skip I wanted to show you guys is you pretty much drive into the water and it spawns you right here. Like right here, it spawns you here, which, you know, it does half the mission for you. you, you I don't have to climb so far, but I had to climb in like from the bottom so that you know it's a lot of time but it's all good uh 
What the heck is happening? I'm just pushing. My monitor is doing something very, very weird right now. Okay. Oh. Let's see here. Progressive skin turned back off for some reason. That is strange. Maybe that's what messed everything up. Okay. I need to deactivate, reactivate one more time. Okay. Whew. Back in business. Back in business. Ratchet 2. <laughs> Ratchet 2. Ratchet I gotta got uh, save a file and then I can load it back up and then we're on to Ratchet 2 here. So it'll all be good. Um, awesome. Awesome. So yeah, Ratchet 2, um, extremely fundamentally different than Ratchet 1. Um, that is basically Ratchet 1 is like its own universe and Ratchets 2 and 3 are relatively similar, uh, but not quite. Um, there are some movement stuff that remains the same between games. However, there's the addition of the charge boots, which you're going to see a lot of. Um, the charge boots allow us to go to max speed whenever we feel like it. Also, I'm going to skip to two thirds of the way through the game immediately. Uh, you're welcome, everybody. I'm trying to do my best to, to you know, eventually finish this run. Um, so, so what we do, actually, this category is only 10 minutes long. And the reason why is because of a weird glitch called Insomniac Museum glitch. A lot of people remember the Insomniac Museums. If you 100% Ratchets 2 and 3, you unlock the super cool hidden developer world called the Insomniac Museum. And you get to see like all the cool stuff that they programmed or couldn't put into the game and whatnot, all the little Easter eggs. Uh, turns out in this game, if you go, there's a shortcut you can access from the menu from the very, very beginning that takes you to the Insomniac Museum. But when you leave the Insomniac Museum, it takes you to Bolden two thirds of the way through the game. We don't know oh. why, well, the reason why it does that. Uh, do I need, well, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, the reason why it does that is because of a, uh, because this is where you would normally go to Bolden if you were to access the uh, the path normally. And so the game just kind of, uh, you know, takes takes you back to where it thinks you're supposed to go. What a broken game. It is an extremely <laughs> broken game, yeah. <laughs> Man, that's pretty cool, though. It's pretty dope. Ratchet 2 is actually my favorite Ratchet. I mean, it was my first ever Ratchet I ever played mm -hmm. on PS2, so maybe that's why it's my favorite. But uh, yeah, I replayed that a dozen times. It's a, it's an incredible game. Usually everyone's favorites are either two or three. Um, yeah. And uh, it's funny because even though like I have this whole history with Ratchet, I, Ratchet 2 was the first one I ever actually owned. Uh, uh, and my, my brother was the one who got Ratchet 1 on Christmas. Um, and I remember he, he was, he's eight years older than me, so he never let me play with him like ever. So I'd be like, can I watch you play Ratchet and Clank? He'd be like... <laughs> Ugh, fine, whatever. And then uh, when he went off to college, I stole his copy of Ratchet 1, and then uh, I I basically just... And now it's just mine. Like, he's not allowed to have it back. So <laughs> That's your revenge for all the years you didn't have to play. <laughs> Dang. Uh, so right now, I'm actually doing another very hard skip of this game. Basically, I'm in the volcano level, which takes, you know, maybe 10 more minutes like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do uh, normally. But now we're going to kind of skip through it. And oh my God, see, I, I fail. <laughs> see, the jumps here are crazy to me. Like if you fail these, you have to go back to the spawn. And it's pretty easy to fail these jumps because you slide off it, you, it's, uh, it took me a long time to, to, to perfect Volcano. It's, it's, my heart still beats hard. Uh! <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell to the lava. This part is hard, but yeah, we did it. We did not have to go through 10 minutes of this entire volcano level. We just went to the end of it through the backside, pretty much. Um, and yeah. Yeah, even uh, even the most experienced runners still have a tough time with volcano. It is not an easy area by any means. Yeah. Have you run Jack 3? I've never run Jack 3, but I uh, I watched, like I've, I've been really, really close friends with the Rixer for a really long time. So I've watched oh. him run it like a trillion times. Like it's, it, like a lot of the route is just burned into my brain. Ah, I see. Yeah, man, Volcano, like even the most experienced runners still like sweat a bit when Volcano comes up because that it's a run killer to yeah, be honest. Definitely. And then with this, if you uppercut, spin, jump, you can hop on these spikes. And yeah, we're in business. Just going down the temple, trying to get Jack's first ever light ability. So in this game, uh, Jack has two alter egos. He 
has Dark Eco, which is Dark Jack, which you get dark powers, basically. So this is Dark Eco. You transform into the Hulk, basically. Uh, super strong. Um, and we're going to use Dark Jack to annihilate all the gun turrets in this room. Easy peasy. And then press this button in the middle. And we're going to go on our way to get our first ever Light Jack ability, the opposite of Dark Jack, which is pretty cool. And these gates, you could actually go over. So the normal route, if you're a casual player, you swing across those bars. But instead of doing all that, we're going to just swing over the gate instead of just swinging across all those bars, you know, and like that, that takes forever. We're just going to beat the system. And there is the light jack room where we get our first power. Boom. And now Jack can heal. The heavens are healing him. Beautiful. And we're done here. Through the warp gate and we're going back out. I thought I think I just noticed something on my game file. I'm gonna have to check this real quick. I think I might accidentally be cheating. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanna double check. I won't tell anybody. It's Hold fine. On. Shot. <laughs> Okay, I somehow have... Oh, this is my practice file memory card. Chat, no one say a word. <laughs> no. I don't know what that means, but I won't tell nobody. It can be our secret. <laughs> you know? No one's Yo, allowed heard to anything? say... <laughs> Y'all didn't hear anything, right? You must be the wind. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, regardless, thankfully, I can still actually play through the game. I wonder if my practice code still works. So yeah, we have uh, a lot of systems that we use in this game to practice just various parts of, of games. And as a matter of fact, like even on the PS2 version of Ratchet, uh, we discovered a way to use like free McBoo. I, I, well, I don't know what we're using. I'm not going to say it in case it's not a good thing to say. Uh, but we have memory cards and files that we pass around the community that allow us to basically just practice certain things over and over. Uh, what am I doing here? I think I need to do this and then... Sorry, this is like a really complicated movement sequence I haven't done in a while. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just really cool because uh, it allows us to take things that are normally very, very difficult and uh, give us an honest chance at just doing it uh, over and over, like reloading certain states. I need this. So what, it's basically like debug mode in a way, kind of? Pretty maybe. much, yeah. Um, yeah, it's our version of debug mode since we don't have a built-in debug mode. Uh, I see, I see. That's pretty handy. Yeah, so for uh, P the PS3 ones, we have actually a really incredible team of people who have put these programs together. Um, and then for the PS2 one, uh, we have our practice files on memory card. So it's kind of cool. That being said, even though the planets are already unlocked, uh, I can still play through the game naturally. So this won't be, this is like the, maybe the world's first accidentally cheated, but still viable Ratchet and Clank 2 run. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not cheating if nobody says a word. Yeah, it's Zach, like... You're not leaving here if, unless you promise to not say anything. <laughs> That's actually uh, one of the mods of the Ratchet community. It'll be, it's so funny. Like uh, when he's verifying runs, he'll like personally dm people be like hey did you cheat <laughs> and, and then like everyone always gets like really nervous and like what just to what do you, test them what do you, yeah and he's like oh no, no i like I, I haven't actually watched the run yet but i just wanted to know if you did you can just tell me <laughs> <laughs> make them sweat a little yeah. you know <laughs> that's dope uh yeah so right now i'm doing a mission where so there's four wastelanders stuck in the desert a big storm is coming and they're in the desert with no car for some reason i don't know how they got out here with no transportation but uh they're just standing out here and we got to save four of them uh this mission gets hectic because the desert storm gets very bad to the point where you can't even see two feet in front of you uh and sometimes these uh wastelanders don't want to go in your car they like glitch around the car and they're like where's the door and you know it wastes a lot of time or they get shot and and this mission has been really hit or miss for me as well oh uh that was scary but this sh we should be okay 
Gonna get the third one here, I think. This is no, this is the second one, I think. This is the second one. And the Marauders are doing everything in their power to stop you. So, so you gotta watch your vehicle health, you gotta watch in front of you, shoot them, grab their boosts, go fast, dodge their bullets. A lot to do. <laughs> do you think the Marauders bully you because your name is spelled without a C? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you might be on to some. <laughs> you know, I know. Oh my God, they're bullying me hard. Their, their Honestly, anger is fueled by ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are they are they C supremacists? Like, I don't get it. Like, what, what's <laughs> what's what's so good about the letter C that K doesn't have? Like, I think K is pretty good. I think K is a a way better letter in my opinion. But that's just me. Please get in my car. Don't glitch out. Nice. Oh, he just <laughs> destroyed himself. Uh, then we're going to drop him off to his point over here. As you guys can see, the Desert Storm is getting very bad right now. You know, it's hard to see in front of you the longer it goes on. Meanwhile, it's, meanwhile it's winter time where I'm at, so it's like we got totally different climates here. <laughs> Where are you, in uh, Siberia? Wait, what, what, what's it called in Ratchet? Wait, there's a snow planet, I remember. There's there a, is a Siberius, <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, Siberius, that's what it's called. Yeah, I'm on uh, I'm on Grelbin right now. That's uh, uh, one of the other ones. Yeah, this actually, a uh, fun fact about Grelbin, for those who don't know, this, uh, the Yetis on this planet, everybody who's played Ratchet 2 remembers the Yetis, because they were <laughs> so annoying. And uh, they were so poorly programmed, they programmed the entire planet in three days. And so the Yetis don't behave the way that like any of the rest of the game does, just because they're, they're so poorly coded. And as a matter of fact, uh, in honor of how terrible the Yetis are, uh, Insomniac, every year they have the Yeti Awards, which is like <laughs> the, the one thing in their game that is just completely broken. Like they just totally messed it up. No chance at redemption. Hey, you are, at least they're self-aware. <laughs> they are, yeah. They really, they do a good job of that. They know when they mess up. <laughs> so right now we're doing a boss fight. Turns out the last Wastelander we tried to save is dead. There's his dead body right there. And this thing possibly killed him. So now we're just doing this boss fight in the middle of the desert. Uh, this is the last phase of it. If I don't get hit, there we go. He's going to do little three waves here. Then we shoot him. Shoot him up, and then we go back to our car, and this is where the Marauders get angry. <laughs> this is where they gang up on you. So I gotta get away from me. <laughs> There's a bridge here. I'm gonna hop this bridge. Try to go this way to get away from the Marauders. And here I'm on the final boss, which thankfully I immediately die on and that's a good thing because that's what i meant to say the whole time thankfully i die instantly <laughs> I, I, I was mad confused i'm like uh, congratulations or i'm sorry <laughs> uh yeah so we kill the final boss nearly instantly using the rhino which is extremely busted but yeah uh, it takes about five seconds to kill him if you don't get squished all right on to rapture three yeah nice oh that's a tree Oh, please don't die. Oh, I'm so scared. If my car's, my car be falling down cliffs, and if you fall down at the, at the wrong angle, the whole thing just explodes. Like sometimes the game, the car has weird hitboxes. Like if you get hit in a very specific angle, all your health just goes. Like the car is done. It ceases to exist. I'm a Destiny player, so I fully understand la landing on a weird piece of geometry and it just deciding that you're dead. Yeah, you're totally just gone. You're, yeah, <laughs> you're just, it's just... The game just decided it no longer just... It needs you, really. Um, but we, su we survived that, and now we're going to do... What are we doing? I should have memorized this by now. I think we're doing a turret mission. I've done this so many times, and I don't know what mission is next, but... Act 1 has a lot of missions. And uh, something I have to do real quick here, the resolution is going to be very wonky for a second. But uh, as a matter of fact, even though we play uh, Ratchet 3 
on the PlayStation 3, we downscale the resolution to 480p 4x3 because it reduces lag. So, ah. very strange stuff, but uh, it'll help me in the long run, I swear. Also, you can see the remnants of my Chinese food that I ate. You can see my <laughs> Monokuma plushie and my strange gorilla uh, plushie that's wearing a wig. So, you know, just wanted to introduce, just wanted to like get the elephant of the, in the elephants, plural, in the room out there just so, you know, I got to own it so you guys can't judge me. I don't know if you guys see, can even see, see it. See, now I want a room tour. Now I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> where's, the, where's my room tour video at? <laughs> All right, let's see here. I think this is the right one. Um, yeah, so right now I'm doing the turret mission. Uh, the Jack and Daxter, well, the Jack 3 speedrun pros memorize where these uh, big circle things are, are, are going to come out. I don't know where it's going to come out because I don't got good memory. So I'm just going to pray that Oh, he's right there. See, I have no idea where it's going to. I should I should memorize this by now, but I don't. I'm just lazy. So, you know, the other runners could end this, you know, section very fast because they know where it's going to pop out. But me, I'm just gonna spray and pray pretty much i think one is here actually right yep see i know where some of them are one's here yep i i, I remember and then one is here i lied <laughs> i was close maybe not really here yeah i remember that one okay All right, Zim, we talked about Kershaw getting into speedrunning. Why don't you tell us your speedrun origin story oh, from it's, it, ye yesteryear? It is a very long story, but I don't mind getting into it if uh, if you don't mind, Kershaw. Go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to see your lore. I'm, I'm, trying to see, uh, I'm trying to see your background story. Yeah, so basically I got into speedrunning uh, for the first time. Sorry, I'm trying to do some setup on this stuff while I... Uh, figure all this stuff okay there we go um yeah so i got into speedrunning actually as a matter of fact back in 2009 whoa um and it was because like i was my sophomore year i know it was my junior year of high school um so i am a bit of a boomer i don't mind if you guys make fun of me for that i i, can, I was I, nine years old in 2009 <laughs> i just want to i just want to put that out there i <laughs> um but yeah, so uh, what ended up happening was I was taking my... Oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't respond to you being a young whippersnapper because uh, I, was, I was too busy dying. There's like a lot happening right now. Um, this is like the, the most inopportune time to have to talk and play, but I'm going to make it work, Twitch chat. Um, you got this. You got this. So basically what happened was I was in my... Uh, beginner piano class and because i've taken a lot of music classes and it was like basically one of those like throwaway classes that people take just to get an easy a um shout outs to mrs nina i'm sorry if i called your class an easy a but regardless um because i had like any music experience at all i would normally get all my work done like pretty quickly like in like half an hour and we were supposed to take the other like 50 60 minutes of class to actually like you know practice the instrument and do the thing that you're supposed to do um, but instead, I would play on uh, Congregate, uh, the old uh, Flash game website. And uh, one day, I remember I got really bored of Congregate. And so instead, what I ended up doing is I went to E-Bombs World, which is normally a terrible, terrible place. But one of the videos featured on the front page of E-Bombs World that day was a Super Mario Brothers 3 speedrun in 11 minutes. And I remember at the time I didn't realize it, it, but it was a task, but like, um, oh wait, what am I doing here? I need this. Um, at the time I didn't realize that it was a tool assisted speed run. It was, it was done, you know, frame by frame at the time. I thought somebody had manually done that. And so I saw this dude just like bouncing on all these cannonballs and just like doing all this crazy stuff and beating the whole game in 11 minutes. I was blown away. And so I was like, I want to do that someday. And uh, I didn't actually end up doing much with it. Like I was a, I was a, a GDQ, like I was just a, another typical chatter. Like I was just one of those people who just like watched all the GDQs and like had like the schedules printed out. Like, oh, I'm going to watch these runs. They're my favorite games. Um, but I always wanted to do it. And then eventually I landed on Ratchet and Clank because at the time uh, there was really not that many people running the game. 
Like, I, I, I think there was maybe, like, one run uh, that was out there online. And so, like, my goal was to just beat that run, and then bing, bang, boom, I'm the best, and then that's it. I, I'm... I've won, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, any any person with any experience in speedrunning can tell you it is uh, not that simple. There's always going to be people coming out of the woodwork, um, and eventually, more and more people started joining this community. And like, I was one of the first people, but I wasn't like the first. You were um, a pioneer, <laughs> sort of, in a way. In a way, I was. But there were people along the way who did a lot more to lay the groundwork than I did. Um, but after a while, I had to like stop for a while because uh, I got really bodied by this one like 13 year old. And then uh, a young whippersnapper, a young whippersnapper. Yeah. And uh, so I was like pretty ashamed. But I, so I used college as an excuse. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah I can't beat you because I have to I have to be in school right now. Um, <laughs> and so I have, I have responsibilities on like you, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to I have to go like earn a living. <laughs> um, but then eventually, uh, once I graduated college, I just had nothing to do because I was just kind of working dead end jobs. Um, for those unaware, I went to school to be an opera singer. Um, but oh. the thing is, when you're really, really young, you're not going to get hired to go anywhere uh, because they're not looking for younger voices. They're looking for people with more mature voices. Um, and so I just had nothing to do from like 21 to 25. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll try that speed running thing. And uh, here I am all this time later, and I'm completely addicted. I, I love it just as much as I did the first time I picked up a controller. And uh, I've gotten some world records along the way, and I ventured into some other games, but mostly I just find a home in Ratchet and Clank because, I don't know, the community is just amazing. It's, it's only gotten better as the years have gone on. So, so this, 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 was, this is years in the making for you. Like, Yeah, it really like is. More than a decade. That's crazy. Yeah, it's really dope. it's a it's wild. It really is. But like that's kind of the beauty of speedrunning is that like whatever you're willing to put into it is what you get out of it, you know? Yeah, I've realized that like like the more you practice, the more runs you do, like there's only up, you know? Like mm -hmm. you're, you're only up to go, you know? Or however the saying goes. There's no way how does the thing go? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Uh, the enemy's gate is down. That's a that's an Ender's Game reference for those keeping track at home. But that's you know terrible movies, so I don't blame anybody who doesn't know that. Uh, regardless, yeah, I get what you're trying to say. I'm just being <laughs> stupid for no reason. I was gonna say, what movie is that? <laughs> oh, you don't remember the the hit classic Ender's Game? It <laughs> Ender's Game. Is it like the Hunger Games? Like, uh, it's, 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 no, but you know, it's, it's fine. Um, it's like the Squid Games. Yeah, it's like the Squid Games. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a, it's like an old sci-fi uh, story that got turned into a movie, and the story was really cool, and the movie was terrible. So, it was uh, uh kind of a shame. <laughs> That's the way it goes, to be honest. Yeah. It's kind of like, every, like uh, you know, cult classic 50 First Dates or, uh, you know, uh, Ghost of Girlfriends Past starring Matthew McConaughey. You know, <laughs> appreciated by a small audience. What but... are you talking about? <laughs> what are these sh movies or shows? <laughs> I, bro, I had a brain fart. There's at least there's at least a few people in chat who know what I'm talking about. It's a <laughs> chat. Who who is he talking about? What is he talking about? <laughs> 50, 50 First Dates is an Adam Sandler movie. That's all you really need to know about it. <laughs> is it the, the the I think the plot of that movie is like the girl has like amnesia or some like short term memory loss thing. So every day she forgets him. Like who he is, and he takes her on a date over and over. It's it's really it's a bad movie. Just I'm just referencing really bad movies at this point. Don't worry about it, Kershaw. You're not you're missing a, anything. Yeah, you're a bad movie connoisseur. Apparently, I, I don't know. You, <laughs> I you, think you like these bad movies. <laughs> I like memeing about them. I don't know. It's your guilty pleasure. Just admit it. You I, like watching very bad movies. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, too, because I, I, I usually, it, you know, when I watch the movies, I say, man, this is going to be a great movie. And then I'm always disappointed. <laughs> oh, my gosh.
What about you, Kershaw? What are your favorite movies? Oh, do I want chat calling me a child? Because my movies aren't, you know, I think... You got to open like, yourself up to it, you know? You got to risk mean, it. it. This is basic, but uh, I love the the Raimi trilogy, Spider-Man. You mm -hmm. know, I, I, I'm in love with that. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of Andrew Garfield, but I appreciate it. And then Tom is kind of in the middle. He's cool, too. But, you know, the Raimi films are definitely... Uh, on top, and then I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. Okay, uh, I watch those movies all the time. Uh, I love Star Wars. Wow, I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just hearing myself right now. Oh no, Kershaw, this is actually an intervention. This is this, <laughs> oh this, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> there is so no this speed is why you brought me. <laughs> there is no. <laughs> there is no. What's faster? <laughs> Your mom is in the other room. We're here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Which one uh, is your favorite Harry Potter of the bunch? Uh, I think the fourth one, Goblet of Fire, just hit different. Like the tournament, like the Triwizard Tournament, mm -hmm. and it was the movie that it was the first dark Harry Potter movie. Like people were dying, yeah. you know. Um, that's when the series took a twist. Like it's, it, he's no longer a kid no more. Like this is serious. Uh, so the fourth one for sure, the Goblet of Fire. Okay. I have to say. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think that like. There's a certain magic of like innocence to the the first few, but then like the, I agree that the fourth is like the turning point. Yeah, like I love a good like turning point plot twist. Yeah, if you want to call it that. Have you watched Harry Potter or? Oh, I was a huge uh, nerd back in the day for that kind of stuff. But like I, I read them all when like as they were coming out and stuff like that. But um, you know, then. I don't know. I just stopped uh, being a Harry Potter. You just person. stopped being a nerd. Yeah, I, I, I you... basically the, the childhood innocence was beaten out of me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss, bro. <laughs> oh wait, this is the wrong weapon. Um, but yeah, that all being said, Kershaw, how's your run going? <laughs> Uh, it's, I messed up a few times. I could have done a few skips that I just forgot to do in all honesty. So, uh, it's all right, I guess. Not the best it could be, but I have a few more missions to go until we're at the end of act one. Right now we are defending, uh, the best girl in the, no, the second, no, the third. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a very important <laughs> distinction you have to make here. Who really is yeah, best girl? Yeah, I fight with myself every night trying to figure out who is the best girl in the Jack series. Ashlyn, the redhead that I'm fighting alongside with right now, she a baddie, right? She is I a baddie. Her. Absolutely. She a baddie. She's amazing. You know, as a kid, I loved her. But now, all those tattoos on her face looking like a SoundCloud rapper. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> like, I'm kind of I'm kind of confused. But uh, yeah, they definitely didn't number age one. well. Yeah, I didn't hate you up for sure, but I think Ashton's at least number two. Kira's number one, because, you know, yeah, I'm basic. Um, <laughs> but who are your top two Ratchet and Clank girls, waifus, whatever you want to call oh, them? Oh, there's so... Listen, you have to understand there's so much risk with answering this question because, <laughs> it, it like, who your favorite Ratchet girl is says a lot about you as a person, unfortunately. It's Sasha, um, isn't it? Mine is not Sasha. Mine is... Mine has been and always will be Courtney Gears. Or... or I'll take uh, um, I'll take Juanita from Deadlocked as well. She's she's also uh, they're both baddies in their own way, you know. Uh, uh, why did why I should have thought of Courtney Gear. She a baddie. That she song is. went hard. Like yeah. all the robots in the galaxy, it's time to <laughs> no, 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 rise up and fight back. Yo, that was a bop. I was twerking. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but, that was the OG banger, like the OG video game banger. Like the kids were like bumping and shaking to it. They're like, oh my god, like what's yeah. going on here? Yeah, yo, peep my MP3 player real quick. Yeah. Yo, you know Courtney? You know what I'm <laughs> oh my gosh. That there was, was a, a Walkman back in Zim's day, though. A Walkman! Stop it! Stop it right now. Oh, my God. This is unacceptable. He didn't deny it, though. That's the crazy part. Listen. It's, <laughs> listen. Dude, I actually remember, though. I, I remember getting my first Walkman. It was, like, it was like matte black. I was like, oh, my God, this thing is so cool. And then uh, oh. there was... What were those things called? They were, like... They weren't Walkmen. They were, like... Um, like oh i totally forget they were, they were like these things that only played one song and you had to like pop 
like the the French toast into it. Like it, it it wasn't French toast, but like it looked like French toast. This dude got a toaster as a music player. Yeah, you dude, pop I'm it not, in. I'm not kidding. You like you had like little MP3s on each little piece of French toast that you put into your into your like teeny tiny Walkman. I forget what they were called. A cassette player? No, 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 no. It wasn't a cassette player. I swear. It was like it was average. It was marketed towards kids. And they were like, yeah, play your favorite In Sync and Backstreet Boys songs on it. <laughs> and like, I remember this clear as day. It was like, it was ridiculous, dude. Like, get your toaster MP3 player. I want it. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> dude, you can't even tell me. Like, like back when, like, uh, like in sync would pop on and be like every little thing I do. You'd be like, oh my god! I'd be like bumping and grinding in the in like the Walmart as it's playing over the radio. My mom's like, there are people watching. You need to stop. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> hit clips. They were called hit clips. Thank you. Take it in the bacon. Hit I have clips because the thing was like it was it was supposed to be like 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 it was supposed to be close to hip because they you like clipped it onto your like belt buckle. And like, like an iPod shuffle. Yeah, it's like a, it's like the pre iPod shuffle, <laughs> but it only played one song. It was really bad. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, I did it. I so had... basically, if you guys saw what I just did there, I did a hover with the hoverboard. We basically hover into the sky through the rooftop to skip like a 10 minute mission. And then we get into the other room where the mission kind of ends. And that took me a long time to perfect, but I did it first try. So I'm really happy. Yo, get out of here with your video game talk. We're talking about MP3. Yeah, we're talking about something way more important. Your, your toaster MP3. Listen, your 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 what's it called? Your 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 hip pod. What's it called? Uh, hit clip. Hit clip. Come on, man. I said hip pod. Listen, I don't know any. I don't know anything below the iPod. Okay, so oh no. So I had I had this old MP3 player when I was a kid. It was this weird orange egg shaped thing, and it only held a few songs. But its weird claim to fame was that it had a male three or er, uh, like headphone jack on it that you popped out and you plugged it into a radio or whatever and hit a record button and you could just rip songs onto this thing or rip whatever you wanted onto this thing. I, I don't know what back market alley this came <laughs> from, but it was the wildest thing. <laughs> Yo, a dude in a trench coat said, "Hey, kid. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is the next best thing." Like he like forced you to buy it, otherwise he'd like take your kidney in the back alley. <laughs> you don't got a choice here. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we're about to enter the next mission. This is Eco Mine. Eco Mine is also a run killer because spoiler alert: you have to use the hoverboard to basically glitch. Well, it's called the jet board in the game, but a lot of people call it the hoverboard because you can hover glitch with it, I guess. And I'm bad at hovering, so this is gonna probably take me a few tries. Let's see how many times I die and fall into the abyss. All right, let's set ourselves. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I'm doing act one. I'm out here doing the any percent no oops strat. I can just proxy and go into the air. I can just see God real quick, go into the sky, and let me just. Dude, you jack runners just hover over all your problems. <laughs> For real. Listen. No, I agree with you on that, and I wish I could join them in that. I wish I could hover over all my problems. Like. I don't know what's wrong with me. It feels like everyone downloaded that hover DLC, and I'm just, I'm just playing the vanilla game. Did you? Uh, are you learning from? Uh, do people still use the Rixers like tutorial from back in the day to learn it, or do they, is there a new tutorial these days? Both. He's making new tutorials. Really? He's, yeah, he's still kicking it. He's still, you know, helping the newbies like me out. Let's uh, go, Ricky. It's, yeah, he's great. Uh, if you guys just saw that, there was nothing loaded there. I tried to like hack the system and make the map deload so I can just go through it and get to the end, but it deloaded or it loaded back in before I could do it. So now I'm just doing it the normal way. Well, the speed run normal way, not the casual way, but oh, yeah, at... Ricky. Sorry. What? So I've got actually got a six strat to show off here. It's called mission four proxy. Go um, I'm going to, I'm going to do that right now. Um, here we go. Wait, hold on. That's not it. There we go. That's it. I just jump in place, and it, and it, it affects nothing and changes nothing. 
So nice. yeah, that's pretty pog bones. It is pretty pog bones, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> what is pog bones? <laughs> pog bones is uh, one of the new global emotes that Twitch put out uh, in celebration of Arcane, the League of Legends TV show or whatever. Uh, I'm not watching it because I view uh, anything consuming League of Legends as as uh, an act Thank of self harm. You. Thank you. It, it oh my good. gosh, we we are gonna be the best of friends. <laughs> I hope you know that. My chat has been trying to coerce me into watching Arcane and and playing League. No, 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 don't no, do no, it. No, no, don't do it. No, um, not, not me sitting here having watched Arcane twice. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a, there's a character in, uh, in Arcane named Jinx, and she has two guns, and one of them is her rocket launcher, and the rocket launcher's name's Bones. And so they made a Pog emote out of Bones, so it's Pog Bones. Um, and it looks so stupid, and I love it. <laughs> it's such a bad emote. I'm so oh, I wish I had chat open to see it now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there are a lot chat. of pog bones in the chat now. I, I mean, uh, I knew what I was doing. I, I was baiting them. Yeah. Am I about to take my hands off the controller to open up chat real quick? Because I'm really curious. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, chat, we, we need you to make sure that you keep posting pog bones until Kershaw sees it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm actually about, okay, after this timer goes away, I'm about to open up Twitch real quick. I don't care because <laughs> uh, hopefully the screen goes black here. No, it's not going to go black. I messed this up, so I got to keep on going. Usually it ends right there, but I wasn't good enough. It'll go black here, hopefully, please. No? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, let's see this pog bone business. <laughs> Hold on. Uh... Oh my god, chat's going by so fast! Hey, yo! <laughs> Good job, what chat. The heck? You're, you're doing great work right now. Yo, we got 2,000 homies here? I thought we had 200. Where did y'all come <laughs> from? <laughs> Hi. They came uh, out of the woodwork, man. See, this is this was actually, like, I was trying to get in your head. I knew that if you saw the viewer count, then, then you know, you'd start to freak out a little bit more. <laughs> it's a, I'm getting a mental edge here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Nah, but for real, I, I, uh, it really is such a dumb emote, and it's like, it's just like captured my heart. I can't even explain how or why. Um, but it's like, uh, oh wait, what am I doing? I was supposed to go to Annihilation Nation, wasn't I? What am I doing right now? No, this is right. Oops. The um, pog bones is in your head, dude. Man. Now the pog bones is in my head. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> um, no, but uh. Yeah, it's like, it's such a dumb emote, and it's like stolen my heart so much that I gave it its own button on my stream deck. That I can just press a button and it automatically posts pog bones in whatever chat I'm watching. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> hey, that's kind of dope. <laughs> Here, um, I'll, I'll give a pog bones real quick. I'm pressing the button. <laughs> <laughs> So right now, guys, I'm actually on the final boss of Act 1. After I beat this very angry robot with a lightsaber laughing at me, uh, Act 1 is complete, and that is time. Uh, but the annoying thing about this is are these blue things. Every time you shoot these blue things, they split into two, and then four, and then six, if you hit them in the wrong, you know, direction or whatever. So, you know, it's very uh, nerve-wracking. You'll be stuck here forever. But basically, he uh, summons these pillars out the ground like an earthbender. I shoot a thing, it falls on his head because he doesn't learn the first time. And now he gets angry with two lightsabers. So now we got to be careful here. He's very angry, but this is the final round or the final health round wave, whatever it's called. He's shooting the blue things. One, two, three. Please don't split apart. There we did. There we go. He's going to be an earthbender again and these are gonna come out the ground we can't touch it or else it damages us so we gotta wait till it cools down we hop on it shoot the train it lands on his head and that is time ggs ggs nice gg thank, thank you thank you uh, I'd say I'm close to finishing, but uh, funny story about that. All right, oh. so no, it's okay. I'm actually not that. I'm like in the last like seven minutes of the game, so uh. we'll make this happen. So actually, here's a, a fun little tradition. Um, every GDQ run I've ever done of this game, I have never missed this trick. Uh, up in like starting at GDQ, a GDQ 2016 to now. I have not played this game or done this trick in over a year. 
So, will the magic maintain just this one time? Or will I finally get my first L on the board? Let's find out. <laughs> so, so the way this trick works is uh, I'm playing as Clank, which you normally don't in this game. Uh, you play as him sometimes throughout the Ratchet games. So uh, this is the part where you're doing the movie for Secret Agent Clank, which is its own game, and don't play it. Uh, and so we skip getting this monkey, but in, instead of using the monkey, I'm going to have to glide along this rail. And it's a very, very precise trick. i got to line this up carefully. I'm going to take a little bit of extra time here because I'm not using my normal controller. All right, let's do this. Line's looking good, and I got it. Oh, man. All right, I'm happy nice. about that. That trick is, nice. it, when it's done properly, it looks very easy. But uh, that is a massive run killer, even at the top level, because the it is literally like pixels wide that you have to glide on there. So, you know what? I, I may have gotten the overall L, but I'll take my dubs where I can get them. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, man. I forgot you could play as Clank in, is this Rack 3? This is Rack 3, yeah. Um, I, for I forgot about that. The secret agent Clank, you know, thing that they had in Rack 3, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's a it's a really like interesting plot point that they chose to bring back over and over uh, throughout the series. But like basically, uh, Clank is like the uh, the billionaire. He's like people think that Ratchet's the hero of the story, whereas Clank is actually like the billionaire playboy philanthropist. And <laughs> like everybody loves Clank, like all the women like lust for Clank, and then Ratchet just gets nothing. He gets the scraps. <laughs> Ratchet's the sidekick. Hey, yo, it's Clank and Ratchet. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's like a lot of really cool stuff that I'm going to be trying to do, or at least for trying to remember how to do here. Um, this trick is a little tough. I might actually end up doing it the other way. Um, mostly because I blew up the boxes. I needed to do it the proper way. Okay, this isn't too bad. Um, yeah, so a lot of these planets have some really interesting stuff on them. Like, for example, the very next planet that I'm about to go to. Oh, look, a titanium bolt. Um, oh. I, it, this planet, it requires you to hit a double frame perfect trick at 60 frames per second. Um, so it's not easy. And in order to get world record, you have to do it. So that's fun. Um, and it's funny because every subsequent frame perfect charge that you get that they're, they're mid-air frame perfect charges so like uh normally if you are using the charge which you can't reuse them in mid-air but you do have one frame where you can recycle the charge so uh we're gonna try this it's gonna be something here i haven't done this in a very long time you got this dad pray for the homie he's got this okay All there's right, one your energy oh my god him. oh my god what oh. what oh. Is that, a, is that a good one or a bad one? <laughs> I, just got, I just got like six of them in a row. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. That's, that's <laughs> one on the highlights for sure. <laughs> um, nice. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, sometimes in speedrunning, you just go for it. And uh, sometimes, usually it does not work out, but sometimes it does. And we take those. Yo, that shook you. How much poop is in your pants right now? Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've had to use the bathroom this entire run, and that really like almost set me over the edge. I, I, I can't even I can't even tell a lie about that. No, it makes you faster. Yo, let me tell you, the best PBs are hit if you have to piss or poop before, like during the run. It makes you go faster. You know Dude, what I'm that, saying? That's copium. That's just copium. No, I don't believe it's fact. that. <laughs> no, that is a straight I have a PhD in poopology. This is a fact! All right, hey, you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to give me the car facts on that. Yeah. Oh, I will, yo, I will. I'll give you my entire pink slip after this, but it's a fact. So uh, y'all are just deniers. I, I also, I also want to call out the people in chat who are saying that this is a Tarnawina moment. Um, th what they mean by that is there was once a marathon run that a runner named Tarnawina did, uh, where he used a turbo controller to do that trick. I don't even own a turbo controller, so I don't want to hear it from any of you. All right? I don't want to hear it. Oh, 
<laughs> Chat saying poop percent. Poop percent. They, okay. <laughs> the problem is, I, I like overshare way too much on my stream, and so chat knows every single time I've ever pooped my pants. It's oh, it, same here. It's no, it, not the poop pants thing. No, not that part, but the oversharing <laughs> part. I had to specify. They like they they like hunger for it. They can smell my weakness in the air, like a, like a shark that smells blood three miles out. <laughs> it's brutal. Hey man, like if you think about it, we are all speedrunners. Like y'all ever have to do like a pee any percent? Like you piss real quick, you know, you you stand up to piss, and then you do the flush skip so you don't flush, <laughs> and then you use the wash hands no soap skip. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta you know because you're in a hurry. You know, I think we've all done that at least whoa, once in our whoa, life. Whoa, whoa, you, whoa. You're saying you, you don't use soap when you wash your hands? No, 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 no. no. Listen, I'm just saying sometimes <laughs> you're in a hurry. You know uh, what I'm saying? All right, all right. Sometimes you got to use the water only any percent, you know, no soap skip. You know what I'm saying? Um... Because, I don't know, I'm trying to PB. Listen, you know? man, I'm going to have to check in with the CDC on that one. I think they might have some opinions. <laughs> hey, yo, don't snitch. Don't hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, not the. Wait, the Walmart story? What What? what Walmart no, story? No, no. Not again. <laughs> yo, this my keep, popcorn. This keeps happening, dude. Why not even mention this? Um, when I was 12 years old, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to rip it off. I'm going to, I'm going to own this and just <laughs> ignore the pain. Uh, where rip am I going? Rip the bandaid off. Oh, I have to go over there. That's right. This is like a strat I haven't done in a while. So my brain just turned off. Um, so when I was 12 years old, um, I would go on weekends to my dad to, with my dad to Walmart, uh, because I lived in backwoods, Pennsylvania and there was nothing else to do. And, uh, one particular unfortunate Saturday. Um, I don't know why I'm telling this story. <laughs> uh, I, I was walking to the toy aisle, uh, as one does, and, um, I, I thought I had to, you know, release some gas, and it turns out it wasn't oh, no. gas. Oh, no. <laughs> and, um, you know, to, to try to keep this as mild as possible, it was, as the kids would say, not good. <laughs> Um, so it was a very traumatizing experience and my chat, of course, makes fun of me for it all the time and they don't, they just constantly bully me, man. It's, it's just so messed up. I don't know why you guys, why do you bully a 12 year old <laughs> for pooping his pants? It just happens sometimes. Okay. Hey, yo, man it's, blew a bomb in the toy <laughs> aisle right next to the Pokemon cards type beat. Hey, yo, yo. You're actually not far off. It, it, it really, it was like in the board game section where, where like all the, the strategos and the Uno pe like sets were. <laughs> The Pokemon cards were within, uh, like, they were, like, I could see them across the aisle, though. Don't worry. They were there. They were in whiffing distance. You could <laughs> smell it if you were. <laughs> oh. Yo, maybe it's just me, but I would have... I would have brought that story to my grave, but that's just me. <laughs> the funny thing is, I did not tell my dad for 15 years. He, uh, he found out because I told it on stream one time, and he was just watching my stream. And he was like, you never told me about that. And I was like, yeah, I never meant to either. <laughs> I'm confused. Did your dad not smell the dookie in the car back, like, right back home? It's, like, it's a very long and very complicated story. But basically, <laughs> I did my darndest to clean that up. I really did. I didn't know what I was doing, man. I was so young. <laughs> Man, I had to clean the evidence before you hop back in the SUV. <laughs> the, the, the crazy part about this, though, is that it's like sometimes I think about like, like I don't know if you saw the 2021 like the Summer Olympics. There was this 14 year old uh, girl who set the highest score in the 10 meter dive in history. She got like perfect tens across the board on nearly every single dive, and I was like, oh my god, this this girl at the age of 14 is setting world records that will never be matched again and I'm just out here pooping my pants. Pooping your pants! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, honestly, bro, you were a smart 12-year-old. I'll give you credit because if I was 12 and I pooped my pants, I wouldn't know how to do the clean up any percent skip. Like, no, I would, I would, I would honestly just take that L. Dad, I do keep my pants. Take me home. <laughs> you you cleaned up the evidence well to the point where 
no one knew for 15 years, so I'll give you that. Yeah. Is, is this the, the origin of the poo part of Zimmy Poo? Uh, it is a play on that. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, oh, but... Good, good. Oh, actually, oh my god. You just, you just unearthed, like, a crazy, like... Like, uh, I call it a turbo tango moment. Like, I, I have, a, like, in, in the UK, in here, we had tang in the US. In the UK, they had turbo tang. And every now and then, I have this the one member of the Ratchet community, his name's One Tabloid. He'll remember that turbo tang existed and it, like, warps him, like, 20 years in the past. You just warp, see, you just warp me back 20 years by asking me the origins of Zemi Poo. Um,. It turns out there was a dude on Congregate who would always call me Zemipu in like this chat room we were in. And uh, yeah, I remember I originally called myself Zemipu on social media as like a, a throwback to him. Um, but then it, I had to like own the, the you know, the pooping the pants story and it, 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 it all just worked out. You know, it was very serendipitous. So what does that word that even sense. mean? Hold on. Sarah Ohua? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm a lucky, lucky luck boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, as lucky as a kid who poops his pants can get. Um, so, you know. <laughs> you are a survivor. I, I applaud you. I've I, fought for what I have. <laughs> like, that was like, that mission was successful. You pulled off the greatest Walmart heist. Like, wait, where were you? Walmart? Well, I don't know what aisle or what store it was, but... You pulled off the greatest heist ever. Thank and you. I really did try my hardest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, almost, almost. Yeah, these are. I'm. Uh, I'm finally getting back in the groove of things here. I, I've been hitting like a few really difficult skips while we've been talking about me pooping my pants. Um, <laughs> uh, here, let me see here, and then go up here. Ledge grab. Nope, that's not gonna work. Do that, get up there, and then double jump up here. Let's go. Yeah, I'm nearly finished. I'm at the uh, the second to last planet right now. We're heading to the last planet. Um, that should look so complicated. You're like phasing through every everything. Like you're going up walls like Spider-Man, going through things like a ghost. Dude, it is nuts. Like we have been so like a, a big story about, especially this game. It was a really bad speed game back in like 2012, 2013. Like it was literally just like, we didn't know any movement tech. And then we found one Japanese runner who had done it all the work by himself. His name was Silence. And he completely revolutionized the entire game by bringing all the movement that people found in the multiplayer scene to single player. And it like overnight made the games like 12 times harder. And ever since then, uh, we like discover something like once every couple of years that just changes the game totally once again. And, and it's just like crazy. This game is like the gift that keeps on giving. I'm gonna try to go for this. We're gonna mm, no, <laughs> that angle was not gonna work. <laughs> just no, yeah, man. That's crazy. Like, if you take like a month or two break from this game, you probably miss out on a lot of discoveries. It's actually insane. That's that's kind of the meme is that like. A lot of the times I'll go to a category and I'll grind really, really hard for like a couple months to get a really good world record. And then I, I'm like, like, I think I'm done. That was that was good enough. And then literally a week later, someone's like, dude, I found this 30 second time save. I'm like, oh, <sighs> uh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened like at least eight times now at this point, I think. But yeah, that's that's what I love about it, though. It's like if 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 the games ever got that stale, it would be boring, you know? Yeah, like, honestly, I love Jack. I love speedrunning Jack, but it is pretty linear compared to Ratchet. Like, you know, like you, you basically just do the missions, but in a diet form, you know, like it's like it's like diet Jack 3, just with a few, you know, skips or glitches. But Ratchet, you just bang out all these skips back to back to back. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, this is like a massive mental exercise for me right now. I'm trying to like remember where all the buttons are for everything. To, wait, I'm gonna, try to, I'm gonna try to do a cool strat here where you pull out the sniper rifle, put it back away with the wrench, and then you have a really like small window. Oh wait, get, get ready on time by the way. It's coming in like two seconds. And time! <laughs> Yo, let's go! <laughs> GG. Get some GG's in chat? GG. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> <laughs>
Holy moly. Wait. Okay. Um, could I possibly, possibly have like a three minute intermission so I don't have any so more take Walmart a poop? incidents? Oh. We're, we're, going to take, we're going to have a five minute intermission here right now. That was that was planned all along. Wonderful. So, Thank you. Chat, chat, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back and they're going to do a different race between these two games. And it's going to be even more fun. Uh, and, you know, so go get some water. Use the bathroom. Don't pull us in. And we'll be back. <laughs> Man. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, hope you all had a good little break and got yourselves some water and stretched a little bit. Uh, before we get started on this next race, just a couple of reminders. Uh, if you missed any of the first race, uh, you definitely want to watch it. So go to YouTube and watch that uh, for sure. Uh, but if you're on YouTube watching this right now, uh, why don't you come join us on Twitch uh, sometime? We have shows on weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and on weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern, and we'd love you to have you uh, watch our live content. Uh, and just a reminder for those of you here watching the live content, uh, your subs and bits help support our weekly hotfix content. Uh, so please consider you know, supporting with uh, you know, subscribing and cheering, all of that good stuff. Uh, with that, that's all I have. I'm going to hand it back over to our amazing runners and let them tell us when to start. Uh, I'm ready whenever. All right, give me, give me two seconds. I need, I need my brain to adapt to rack one again. <laughs> <laughs> Getting that practice in real quick. Yeah, just some, some dirty... We call it uh, the dirty pee in, our, in the community, dirty practice. What's with you and peeing and pooping? I, I have questions. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. This, is, this <laughs> has nothing to do with peeing. It just happens to start with the same letter. That's all it is. <laughs> just a coincidence. Hey, you're huh? making mountains out of molehills here. <laughs> you're... <laughs> I've never heard that saying in my life. <laughs> Either I'm a young whippersnapper, like you said, or I don't know. But all right, I'm. Uh, I think I'm good to go here. Um, all right. Let me load up a file, and then I shall be ready to start. All right. Oh wait, actually, I'm gonna pull up uh, uh, another nifty little tool that we have in the uh, the Ratchet community. We our practice tool doubles as an auto splitter. So I'm going to have my uh, my live split up so I can keep track of all my stuff and then just let the auto splitter do its job. So I'm ready now. I've, I've got all that stuff booted up. All right. Ready whenever. Who's counting down? Uh, I can count down again, I suppose. All uh, right. All right. So three, two, one, go. All right. Good luck, Hershar. Good luck, man. My run is basically the same as the last run up until a certain point. So the first three missions are the same, but then after that, we break the game and we skip the almost the entirety of Act 1 and go to the last act. Mine is pretty completely different. <laughs> <laughs> um, as Ratchet Games go. Yeah, so uh, the if you watched the NG Plus portion of Ratchet 1, the previous race, you saw me kind of jumping and flipping all over the place using the Walliper. We don't have that this early on. And uh, we also, I can't just manipulate uh, 69, 69, 69 bolts in. So I have to collect bolts the old fashioned way. Um, so I gotta collect them just by breaking boxes, killing enemies. Uh, and there's a lot of gates as well. There's certain like bolts, bolt counts I'm supposed to have at certain times. So like right now, uh, the first major gate is a thousand bolts by the third planet. So I'm uh, I'm going to planet two right now, uh, Novalis. It, it's gonna look roughly the same as it did in NG Plus. I'm just gonna be like jumping over a river, and then uh, that's gonna be the end of the level pretty much. Is that at, bolt count pretty tight in the route? Or it's, is it it's at the at the very it? highest levels. It's extremely tight. Like, uh, it, gotcha. usually nobody loses runs to bad bolts, but it's it can make a difference of like 10 to 15 seconds sometimes. Uh, maybe even more if you don't really know what you're doing. Um, at the top, at the tippy top levels, though, there's like basically almost no cause for concern because if you know how to do the tight bolt route perfectly, you should be fine every time. Um, it should being the theoretical word. It's it's like I always tell people, like, this game isn't hard. You just have to play perfectly. That's it. <laughs> so Sure, yeah. yeah so no, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not hard. Just be perfect. Yeah, you know, it's only as hard as you are bad at it. Um, 
So I'm going to try to do my best to not be bad at this bolt route. I do what's probably the second most optimal bolt route. Um, there's a couple, I, I basically, um, to give a little bit of backstory on, on this particular category, Ratchet won all gold bolts. I used to be the world record holder four and a half years ago. Oh. Um, and I had a time that at, at, with the current strats of those, of that era was like really, really great. Um, but as time moves forward, speed games advance more and more. And, uh, what ended up happening was, and I just barely got over a thousand, which is really nice, but, um, what ended up happening was there was a runner uh, named Yankee Lad, and he basically uh, revolutionized this game by moving all the bolt counts around. He did a whole bunch of strat hunting. It was him and a lot of other people, but but primarily Yankee Lad was one of the first people to like really implement this these new strats, and they saved minutes. And uh, I stopped playing the category, and I, I, I did not play the category for four and a half years. And uh, I picked it back up last month because I just want to get good at this game. And uh, so I'm still learning a lot of the really, really difficult strats. Um, but in the past month, I've lowered my PB by, I think, roughly nine minutes now. So I'm making good progress, Ooh. but there's still a lot more work to be done, unfortunately. The world record holder is a monster. So. That was great progress, though. Nine minutes. like I'll take it, man. You know, I'll take what I can yeah. get. So I'm very happy about that. The the new strats are very potent, and I've, I've I'm pretty proud of the work that I put into the game as well. But Man, I I kind of want to get into Ratchet now, but it looks intimidating. Dude, that, but that's <laughs> what's so great. Mad intimidating. Like, for real though, like the the games are really hard at the top level, but at the beginner level, there's a ton of strats that don't make it that hard at all. Like there's ways to save every single mistake that you could possibly make when you're first starting out. It's just like, as you get better and better, you have to start doing riskier and riskier stuff. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Oh, that could have been a double there. I'm just, I'm just doing the mini game right now. Yeah, like, I feel like every speed game looks, like, very daunting and intimidating at first because you just see them flying through everything and, you know, like, your mind can't take it. But I guess when you get into it, then you're like, oh, it's not that bad, you know? So maybe one day I'll get into Ratchet and, uh, and then I'll take world record away from you, you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You sound so sad. See, now I feel bad. That <laughs> sounded really <laughs> sad. Yeah, you, just, you just have to go play Jack. You gotta go play oh, Jack. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. You better so stay off my turf. <laughs> <laughs> it's my territory. Uh, that's not gonna work. Um, so a big part of this game, uh, they're called movement chains. Um, and if you've played Yu-Gi-Oh, you know all about chains, but it's nothing like that. Um, so sorry to all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans. I know that I only mentioned that because the new Yu-Gi-Oh game just came out and I have some friends who are absolutely the master so, duel thing. Yeah, dude, like even like I'm not even a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Even I'm like, damn, this game looks kind of cool. Yeah, all my homies are playing that and I don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm like, I guess it looks all right. But everyone's playing that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not quite the same uh, style of chain here. Um, rather. The way the movement works in Ratchet 1, like if, in Ratchets 2 and 3, we have the charge boots to automatically take us to max speed. But in Ratchet 1, you're responsible for creating all your own momentum. And uh, the way that you do that is by uh, inputting like really precise stuff over and over called midair long jumps. Like they're not precise if you're bad at them, but again, like the better you get, the more precise your midairs have to become. Um, and so, like, you'll see me building speed over and over by by just long jumping and then, like, immediately landing and long jumping again. So that's how we build speed in this game. Um, and so the movement chains require you to do very precise, uh, like, sequences of long jumps and midair long jumps. So it's cool, but it's hard. Sounds Can you midair long jump backwards? Uh... It can, can you backwards long jump? Per uh, se? Hmm. Uh, now he's gonna try it out. Look what you did. Now he's gonna see. Hmm. Can I? Hmm. Uh, Let's test it out. We have in the ratchet community something a little bit nicer than just backwards long jumps. All right. Let me tell you, those Mario kids—they think they're so cool with their staircases <laughs> and their paintings. No, no, no. I'll, I'll show you guys some stuff that'll really blow your mind. Knock your socks off. <laughs> 
So if you guys see right here, instead of doing the race that I did last time, you know, the race where we have to skip all those laps, we completely restart the mission, skip the entire race, and take the tutorial car over to another mission area that's like halfway through Act 1, pretty much skipping all the missions before that. Uh, I'll talk about it more when I get there, but it's pretty cool. This, this one glitch, this one strat still blows my mind. Hopefully I can nail it because it's hit or miss, but yeah. Oh, just, was this Grand Theft Auto? Did you just like steal this car? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, this car is like pretty much on a loan. You know, basically it's like, oh, if you win the race, then you get the car. Nope, I didn't even do the race. <laughs> I just took it and I'm gone. You can have it back later, but um, we're just gonna... So we're coming up to the Metalhead Nest, which is a mission that doesn't happen for a while. Um, the difference between Act 1 and Any% percent No Oob is that I don't have to do the missions in chronological order anymore, like I did in the last run. I can just skip the entire game. So what we're gonna do is roll up to these gross looking green eggs here. We're gonna get the car very close up. And then when the car starts twerking and busting it back, then you hit it, right? And then, <laughs> and then you hit it a few times, you know? Cause you love how it's twerking right now, but then it's gonna stop twerking. Then you punch and the wall should open up. If not on the left side, then maybe the right side. Survey says, yeah, we're in, we're in. So that's how it is. So now we're in a mission area where this car does not belong. I'm not supposed to be here, uh, but we're gonna trigger the mission and it's gonna look pretty cool once I get to the mission checkpoint start area further inside this cave. And there's gross little bugs everywhere that we're gonna try to avoid because if you stand still, they're gonna destroy your car like termites or whatever. Would you say that they're goaded with the sauce? What? <laughs> the termites? Wait, what are yeah, you talking about? They, they, like, if they destroy your car, <laughs> then clearly, they, like, you know, they're they're quirked up. They're, they're like, you know, busting it down. They're goaded with the Yo, sauce. Yo, you are trying so hard to sound hip right now. I'm trying, dude. I'm try <laughs> I love that. Meme. Like, it, it, very recently, it very recently became a meme. And so, like, obviously, like, you know, I got I to gotta connect with the youths somehow. <laughs> And then we destroy the car, we get a mission failed, and then boom, we're in the mission. And yeah, you're just, yeah, you, Dude, okay. what's good, fellow kids? You're that, what's you're good? The, yeah, you're the skateboard meme. Yeah. What's yeah. good, fellow kids? We breaking it down over here I'm, on this? I'm trying to earn some, some, like, some, like, respect back just from the, the hip clip uh, discussion from earlier. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get something going here, show that I've still got something left in me. <laughs> you still got it? No, I believe you, you still got it. It, you know, <laughs> your back ain't hurting yet. You can still go up the stairs, right? You know, you, you still got it. Dude, I, it's, I'm actually really proud of myself. I was walking up some stairs and it only took me 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, new PB, new stair PB. I'm yeah, proud dude. of you. <laughs> The 92 gotta, in my username stands for uh, something else. People, people always think it's the year I was born, but it's actually just my current age. Uh, <laughs> wow, you've been through it all, huh? Yeah, dude. I've seen I've seen some stuff. <laughs> Your bones must be creaking. You gotta get a massage. Go in a go in a nice jacuzzi hot tub. Speaking of hot tub, you guys are probably wondering what I'm in right now. Uh, <laughs> this is a uh, good transition. Is, that was a good one. I'll give it yeah, to you. I, I didn't even I didn't even plan that, but thank you. Um, yeah, this is actually not a hot tub. It's not a pool, it's not a hot tub. Uh, it's actually a cold tub. It's my uh, patented uh, cold tub. Basically, if you get in cold water before, during, and after a run, you just hit world records back to back, you Whoa, know? Whoa, is that how Josh does it? Yeah, actually, he does. He actually, he dips his feet in cold water, not his whole body. Oh. As long as, yeah, as, as long as any member of your body is in cold water, then you're good. He keep, you that's know? how he keeps that killer instinct sharp, you know? Like, okay, Ex that makes sense. Exactly. It's a booming business. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I went to the, I went to the University of uh, CT, cold tubs. Cool. Um, and yeah, I got my master's and I hope everyone tries out a cold tub one day. You know, it's, it's it does. Oh yeah, fully clothed. If I didn't mention that, fully clothed. It won't work if you're naked. 
though, yeah. Really? Nope, it just does We don't know why yet. Maybe it's, I don't know. Well, it's probably because of Twitch TOS, right? Like, you, you can't... <laughs> like, I know they let some stuff slide from time to time, but you can't be totally naked. Yeah, I can't be totally naked, you know? Like, maybe that's a factor, but I don't know. More research needs to go into it, you know? It's, yeah. uh, you know, our top scientists are still <laughs> experimenting. Uh... So if you want to be a uh, test rat, I mean a, a guinea pig, I mean, a, wait, what's it called? Uh, not a, I'm trying to find the right term for it, a kind term. A tester, a beta tester. That's, uh, You're selling me on this more and more with each passing like two <laughs> seconds. Oh what's my God. The, what's the word where real people test products? I don't know. I don't know what the word is. It's slipping me right now. But um, yeah, if you want to be that person, then, you know, hit me up. Uh, and I'll send you one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, here, I'll, uh, not to distract from that amazing offer, but I, I've got uh, some cool stuff going on here. So uh, this is Umbris, and Umbris is uh, a training ground for infinite long jumps, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm fluttering the R1 and R2 button with my index and middle finger at about 11 to 12 inputs per second. So not too oh. terribly fast. It's like a, a like, like, it's not too bad. It's just like, you're just kind of doing it over and over. You need a little bit of dexterity. Um, but that's like, this is like the planet to train that dexterity. Like everyone practices them here. And uh, this route is really cool. It implements a lot of really precise infinite long jumps. So I'm trying to do my best to hit them all. Um, this last one is really tough because I have to do it blind. I'm, I'm not, I can't see the ledge that I have to infinite long jump off of. So we're going to go for it. And I missed it. <laughs> Happens. Oh. <laughs> but I've yeah. got a cool backup here. This is called Ship to Boss. We start at the very, very beginning of the level where the ship is, and we infinite long jump all the way to the very, very end. Um, this, is, this is a backup that you can only do after you've collected all the gold bolts, hence the name All Gold Bolts. Uh, I can't see what's happening. Where are the, where are the textures? Hello? Uh, broke his game more than he meant to. Um... Okay, I didn't know that could ever happen. Well, we learn something new every day, Twitch chat. I'll just go. I'll just do it again. You're getting a lot of clips on this stream for things that don't happen on a ratchet run. Like you're just discovering <laughs> weird bugs. Hold on, my I need a. Uh, my arms are a little tired because I've been <clears throat> hitting the gym so much. Oh, excuse a, me. Oh, I gotta like, <laughs> stretch my hands a little bit before I do this next time. Okay. So there's a skip right here. This is the skip I wanted to. You jump in the ocean, then you boost and zoom in. And I didn't do the skip last time because, you know, I was distracted. But it spawns you halfway through the mission on here, which means it saves you, like, maybe a good 30 seconds, a lot of time. Uh, and it's a really cool skip that only works on PS2, not PS3, where I actually started running. That's why I kind of... That's kind of the main reason I kind of... <laughs> revive my PS2 to do the major skips because PS3 patched it all, but yeah. Um, sadly, at this point, I can't do it because I have too much lactic acid built up in my hands and I can't move my fingers anymore. So, uh, you know, we suffer for our art here in the Ratchet and Clank community. It's just all those days at the gym, man. Dude, it's it's, I can't help it, man. I'm getting so swole. <laughs> swole. <laughs> it's Yo, a necessary geez, sacrifice James. for permanent greatness, you know? You're going you to show up at the next GDQ all buff, bro. Going to be fire. I'm going to be mad jealous because I don't leave my chair for a living. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm right there with you. Most exercise I got lately was shoveling the snow for the past two days. Let's go. Hey, that's still good, you know? <laughs> that is true. Gets the blood pumping. That's true. Canada do be working me right now, man. But we're doing... This mission was in the last uh, run as well. Uh, basically, this mission would have taken us like 25, 30 minutes to get to uh, in the last run. Maybe even 35, I can't remember. But now it took us, I can't even see the timer, but it's probably below 30 minutes <laughs> that we're on this mission, which means we're kind of flying through, skipping missions. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, well, I finally overcame my boomer fingers, so at least I got that going for me. Um, 
I actually, I the only thing I ever remember from uh, No Oob is that pterodactyl mission that you're on right now. That's the only thing I ever remember. And like, I, I know Volcano, I know the the palace skip or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you basically remember the most important parts. Yeah, I, I never saw this as a pterodactyl. Like, I, I just called it the glider, but it do look like a pterodactyl. Oh, is it, is it actually like, it. A, like a, oh, it's not a pterodactyl. Oh, it actually is just a glider. Oh, okay. Yeah, yo, you thought I was riding a dinosaur? Dude, I thought the entire time, like since tw the first time I saw that in 2016, that that was a pterodactyl. I swear. I 100% thought it was a pterodactyl last time. Yo, y'all thought this was Jurassic Park. That is actually wild. Dude, no, you this is. You okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You have, you have owl yaks. You have iron headed dinosaurs. You have chicken lizards. Like, <laughs> okay, don't, you don't might be judge honest, though. Us. Wait, okay, I don't blame you no more. The, 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 there is a pattern that I haven't noticed until now. You might be. You know what? Excuse me. You're right. You're right. I'll step back. <laughs> I don't got a counter argument for that. I rest my case. Oh, by the way, uh, Kershaw, uh, since you're running this here, you, I'm going to ask you to do the fun job that uh, every no oob runner has to do. Can you explain the rules of no oob? Yeah, so it's a very complicated mathematical equation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very uh, it's very hard to uh, precisely determine the mm -hmm. best explanation to what no oob means. Of but course. basically, to sum it up, uh, don't go out of bounds. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Just, 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 just don't. No out of bounds. Just, just don't. You can do everything else. Just if you go into like, if you go through a wall like he's doing right now, yeah, just reset. No out of bounds. No, you can't go in voids. You know, but you got to stick in the map. Yeah, it's kind of funny though, because like in the Jack community, like they consider it in bounds, even if you're like way over the map. Like you could be above the thing, but you can't be like under or to the side of the thing. So it's yeah, it's very specific. Like it's like I think the best explanation I've heard is like ba what did they say? I, I think in debug mode you can free cam around and like if you free cam from a bird's eye view, some areas will just have like you know, a black void and then other areas will not have a black void, so don't go over the black voids. It's hard to explain, but yeah, it's very confusing and very specific. Um, like, honestly, no oob might be harder than normal any percent because you're trying to avoid any, you know, going out of bounds by accident. You know, lots of mistakes could be made and it could end the run. Plus, in normal any percent for Jack 3, you're mostly just driving through the desert for 15 minutes. Oh, no, it's not driving. It's, it's roll much. jumping, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. I act Whoa, I can't do these spikes. I just died. I'm struggling with that. Um, yeah, you roll jump through the desert basically, because I guess you don't have the cars unlocked yet, and that's faster than unlocking a car and just driving there. Um, but yeah, I've never seen a full any percent run myself yet, so I've seen bits and pieces, but it's I probably haven't, because I've seen people rolling through the desert. It'll, it'll look kind of boring, they like just rolling through the desert for like 10 minutes, but... You're not wrong. It's a very... Like, listen, I, I'm not... I'm not saying this to ju to dunk on the Jack brethren because I got nothing but love for them, but Jack yeah. three any percent is not it. <laughs> it yeah, it there's a lot of like it takes a lot of patience and there's lots of downtime like that. Like Ratchet, I will say right now, Ratchet, speed running wise, that yo that joint looks excited, <laughs> excited, exciting to run. Like you know, like it's 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 you're just doing a million things, but Jack is very linear at times, you know? It's just point A to point B, as fast as you can. Yeah, the game, Which, it, yeah. It's, there is some uh, some linearness to these games, but largely it is like kind of wild. Like for example, uh, not this run, but the, or not this run. This, then this planet is not it. The next planet is like a little boring because you're just kind of like sitting there riding around on a boat with like this one dude and he's just like staring at you on the boat. That sounds very creepy. It, it's kind of <laughs> awesome though. Like he he's like uh he's he has like a an animal magnetism to him, you know? Like he's he's like we can't quite put our fingers on why, but he's just so handsome, you know? He's just mesmerizing. Yeah. He's just something about his demeanor, his vibes. Yeah, it's it's like it's like when there's like every like 5 to 10 years there's one of those celebrities that like looks kind of abnormal but then everyone's like really attracted to them because because they look very abnormal like for example anya taylor joy like 
She's so enchanting, but she's so strange. I don't know. I can't. Uh, g- give me a movie she was in, because I don't know who that did, is. Uh, did you ever see Queen's Gambit back when that? Oh, was- yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're right. It's like, yeah. It's like her eyes are so strangely spaced, but it, it's so enchanting. But it's attractive. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what's going on here? <laughs> I feel you on that. It's like unconventionally attractive. Yeah. I think it, it, th- there's a meme going around on Twitter about... Uh, Who's that dude that stole Kanye's wife? <laughs> Pete <There's>... Davidson. <laughs> yeah, like apparently the girls think he's just this. He's he's hot Shiza, you know. Yeah, I don't know if I can say yeah, that, yeah. that shit, <laughs> but he's hot Shiza around here, you know. Like and it's just it's just I don't see it. I'm like this dude looks kind of like a kangaroo rat. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? Uh, wait, well no, no, wait, actually no. Kangaroos are cute. That was a bad example. <laughs> kangaroos are pretty cute. He looks like a. Like a Fallout 4 mole rat. That's the best way I can explain it. There you go. But yeah, that's, that's um, basically... So what, what I'm trying to say is this guy coming up here, the guy, his name is actually the guy. Um, they give him a name in the PS4 version of this game, but he doesn't have a name in, uh, in this version, so he's just the guy. He's basically this universe's Pete Davidson. <laughs> you know, we can't, we can't explain it, but there's just something like... Like, here he is. I'll even, I'll even let his cutscene play for a little bit. Hey! It's just that's it. He just goes, hey, <laughs> and, that's, <laughs> and that's all we needed. He had us from the first, hey, you know, he, he, he just, hey, that's it. Well, there's more to it, but I skipped the cut. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say that voice actor got his bag for one. Hey, dang. <laughs> but like, look, like, I know you can't see it, Kershaw, but everybody else in the chat, you can see this. He's like, he's got his Hawaiian shirt. He's got his dad flip flops on. He's got the comb over. Oh, I remember him. I know him. Dude. That's the dude who uh, does an advertisement for like, come to you know this Hawaii like yeah. planet or whatever. Come to Joai Resort. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come to the resort or whatever. He advertises it when it's actually horrible. Like people are getting eaten by a shark, I think, or something. Yeah, that? there's some really terrible stuff happening there. Yeah, but he's like, come on, anyways. It's perfectly safe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but we have We're to like actually... escort him, unfortunately. So I'm just going to be running around killing all these fish. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for a swag strat. Ooh. I'm going to. There's a strat that you can do that saves three seconds, but it's very easy to miss. And if I miss it, I lose like 45 seconds. So we're going to go for it because if ever there were a time for it, it's marathon runs. Facts. You got this. Or, I guess this isn't a marathon, but you know what I mean. Well, for you it is having to switch three discs out back to back to back. You know that's. <laughs> I don't want to talk be tired. about it, man. Yeah, it's just, yeah, rack one, rack two, rack three. You're, not, you're doing your own marathon here, bro. <laughs> Playing Dishonored again, I see. Just, just riding the boat. Just riding the boat. Wait, I, I actually, I've never played right Dishonored, so that that reference was lost oh, okay. on me. Well, oh, fair same enough, here. Fair <laughs> Okay, well, that's fine. Chat chat probably knows. At least one person in chat has seen a Dishonored speedrun. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, it, chat, you got me, right? <laughs> of it. You, you guys know what I'm talking about, boat. right? <laughs> I'm not alone, right, chat? You don't you, you chat, the joke. Give me the Carfax. Give me the Carfax, chat. <laughs> chat, am I still epic poggers? <laughs> Yo, chat, he back up. <laughs> Sorry, see, we're no, we don't mean to throw you under the bus like this. It's just the easiest thing to do in the moment. It takes the pressure off us. Oh, you know? absolutely. Absolutely. We, we love you, C. We love you. Literally, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> You're actually great. All right. So here, so if you guys remember, I actually hovered through the rooftop to skip this whole mission the last run, but obviously I can't. So we have to do this whole mission because no out of bounds. No hovering through voids and through walls. So basically, we have to collect 18, well, 17 now. We have to collect 17 Tide Pods. The tide Why? Pods. I don't know. The Tide Pods. <laughs> I remember the Tide Pods as well. Yup. Someone just dropped all their Tide Pods here for no reason. And we got to collect it for him, you know, because he's wash his clothes. He stank, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, whoever it was found out that, like, you're not actually supposed to eat them. <laughs> He's like, wait, you're supposed to watch? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Bro, Nine I don't more know. If you, have you ever been to a GDQ before, Kershaw? I haven't. I wish I have. Like, I... Well, like, once, if, once, uh, once they come back to being in person, you'll get to experience the magic of the Smash Room. The, uh, the Smash Room is notoriously the stinkiest room. I've had this conversation with my homie Hazel. We talked about it because we were talking about GDQ. 
And I'm like, yeah, what's it like? And she said something about <laughs> the Smash community. And, oh, yeah. And like, and, uh, <laughs> you know, some allegations that I won't repeat, but you know. Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. Sorry. I, I didn't expect to actually get that first try. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, but yeah, oh, it's, 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 listen, I, I love it. I'm a big Smasher at heart. Um, but even I admit it is, it, it, you know, it, it can, it, you know, it has its fair share of stinkiness. But, you know, you, we, we fight through it because we love the game so much. Or we just tell the people to go shower, you know, one or the other. Yeah, collect some Tide Pods, right? You know? Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. I, I would love to go to a GDQ. Like, I'm kind of sad that, like, right when I got interested in, you know, going to conventions and GD or speed running, you know, this pandemic happened. Everything is, you know upside down but hopefully when everything calms down i would love to go to gdq you know um hopefully i'll be a good fit there i feel like i'll stand Dude. that a lot though <laughs> it's, it's uh it's one of those things like i'm not just saying this because you know we're on the gdq channel right now i actually truly believe that like every speedrunner should experience a live gdq at some point it's like yeah everybody is legitimately so friendly it's it, like because everybody knows like because let's be real here speedrunning is a bit of a niche hobby right i think we can all admit that like definitely it, it, it's uh it, it's not quite the same level of popularity as something like maybe league of legends or csgo unfortunately definitely. um but so like everybody kind of knows what it's like to be on the outside of something at some point and yeah and everybody knows what it's like to uh want to fit in and so everybody at GDQs is just so friendly to everyone else. It's amazing. It's like, I, I have never, and it's like so genuine too. Everybody just wants to have a good time there. And so like, sometimes you'll just meet somebody and then five minutes later, you're like randomly like going on an adventure with the person that you just met. And it's like <laughs> something totally memorable. And it's like something that would have never happened anywhere else. It's like, it's so cool. I was actually just thinking about I this I want to go now, man. Oh, it, it's, it's magical, dude. Great. Like it really is. Like there's just something about it that you can't find anywhere else. So, you know, that's that. I, I know that kind of turned into a shameless advertisement. I didn't mean it to, but like, it actually is really, on the really GDQ incredible. channel. Yeah. <laughs> paid promotion? No. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. This guy sounds like a paid actor. What's going on here? Uh, no, For I actually bad. do want to go to GDQ. Like, I, I definitely will at least, you know, once or twice, you know? I, oh, it's, don't worry. If you go once, you won't stop. Yeah. I was only going I, I was only going to go to one GDQ, you know, years and years and years ago, mm -hmm. and then I never stopped going. <laughs> and now you're and a you'll, show host. <laughs> yeah. That, then you'll volunteer, and then you'll just you'll keep doing stuff, and then, yeah, they'll just ha you just, you never stop. <laughs> That's actually one once, of my, one of my once favorites. Once you go when you can't get out. <laughs> one of my favorite speedrunning stories that of just, like, mine personally, like, I was talking about this before during the previous race but like um i used to just be like one of those people who just watched gdqs like back in i remember it was i think it was 2012 um it was like the first gdq i ever watched and i remember i was like oh my god like what someday i want to run at a gdq and like i just remember like the the nervous energy that i had when i finally had my first run in 2016 like Four years later, I just, I literally could not believe I was there. It was so insane. It's like, it seriously is a magical experience. Like, whatever happens at GDQ, it's just like, I don't know, it's just like unlike anywhere else that you'll ever be. Man, that's awesome. Like, I, obviously it wasn't in person. This isn't in person, but this is my first GDQ experience. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had the nerves as well at first. I still kind of have the nerves right now. But that's awesome, but, dude. Like, that's that's great that, like, even this early on in your, your speedrunning uh, career, I guess. Like, I'm not... Career, yeah, yeah. Um, it, It's just, it's great. Like, you're getting this kind of exposure, this experience, you know? Like, it's it's just, like, you can't replicate this kind of stuff. It's just nothing like a normal stream. Yeah, it's great. Yo, I'm going to be honest, when C hit me up, she's like, hey, you want to, you know, play some Jack on my GDQ thing? I was like, you got the right person, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm two and a half months into this. What you mean with GDQ? <laughs> but I'm very happy he hit me up. This has been a blast. Like, I'm glad that I don't have to be, like, a pro at the game to mm -hmm. enjoy, you know, speedrunning my favorite game, you know? It's just... I love the vibes here. Oh, what happened? What? Something that never happened to me before ever. Uh, it's, I was mostly just on like a really, really good split. 
of uh, this particular planet, and then like of course like the one random dumb mistake happens. So I'm just gonna take the the dumb like path of shame now. Ah, uh, it's okay. I I deserve it. I I'm sure I, that like sometime in my past I I accrued enough bad karma to have that happen to me. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't have pooped your. I should have pooped my Let pants, me stop. Let dude. me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> I held my tongue. <laughs> uh, no, I yeah, thought. Going you, I thought oh. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I was like going back to what you just said a second ago about like you know you being so fresh into speed running and getting in on this like that's one of the the best things about this show format. Yeah. Like for me at least, I love being able to like put together shows where like you know people are friends or whatever or just like. You are a, a new speedrunner, which, granted, I didn't know when I put this together, but, like, Zim, everyone knows Zim. Zim's been around forever, and, like, we're able to have this race between, like, a, a new runner and a veteran, and it's just awesome. It is and awesome. Heck, the, the new runner kicked the veteran's butt last race. So. That's true. It's true. You, you gave me a solid whooping. I can't even lie. I'm going to be honest. No offense to you, Zim. I did not know who you were. <laughs> like, that, that is I, okay. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm like, yeah, I'll be on GDQ, you know, this guy named Z Zem! <laughs> Zem! <laughs> I, I started sweating. I'm like, hey, yo, <laughs> who's Zem? So I, it's I, I, went to your, yeah, I went to your stream today, and I'm like, oh, this guy seems pretty nice, you know? Well, th I, I, uh, it, it's it's actually really cool. I mean, like, the, the fact of the matter is I've known so many of the Jack people, and, like, I don't know, like, all of them, all of them, but, like, at the very least, I've come into contact with them. You know, I've been in like Josh's stream a whole bunch. Like, for those who don't know, Outrageous Josh is like, he's just he's goaded at the games. He's he is so great. Good. Yeah. Um, but like, we've known each other as long as I can remember. Like, you know, I've I've been around the Spyro communities. Like, I I knew Deo Man before he even like had his his uh his Twitch glow up. You know, like I. Like, I've just been around a while, so I just, uh, it's one of those things where it's like the longer you're around, the more like really, really cool people you get to know. So mm -hmm. it's just like, that's what's so cool about it too, is that like a lot of people come and go, but you never forget any of the people. It's just like, cause it, like speedrunning is like in its own weird way, kind of like a sick, twisted family you never asked for. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really cool though, cause like, <laughs> Speedrunning does not stop at one game. Like, mm -hmm. I run Jack, you run Ratchet, but somehow we know the same people, yep. even though they're two different speedrun communities. Like, speedrunning as a whole is one giant community that just, it's just, re that's really dope, you know? Yeah, and, and shout out to anybody in the chat who has ever had uh, the desire to try speedrunning themselves, but has never known what game to pick up. Hey, the PlayStation community will treat you well, man. We'll treat you well over here. We will. Yo, we got cookies, I'm telling you. <laughs> I can't bake myself, but someone will make them. Someone will. There's bound yeah. to be somebody who can do that in the community. Yeah, exactly. Um, shout outs to my PS4 community of Spider-Man, which I guess Ooh. is now a PS5 community, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a clip of like Spider-Man like launching off a building into the into the abyss. I was yeah. like, what? Yeah, there's some there's some wild there's some bonkers stuff in that game. It is <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. But yeah, if Chad can see right now, I'm actually doing the final boss. Not of this run, but the last run. This like so the last run of Act One, this is the final boss of Act One that I'm doing. Uh but the run's not going to stop here, of course. We're going to go past this Act 1 final boss and go to the game's final boss, essentially. Um, so after we beat this dude's robot butt, it's going to be new territory. You're going to see a new area that's not sand and marauders and stuff like that. And then you're going to shoot your little blue turds at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Boom. what? <laughs> I mean, your blue uh, minions? I didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, everyone, yeah, everyone yeah, knew that's what you uh, meant. Of course you heard turds, you know? Of course, you know. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> I'm trying to line in the sand. <laughs> Uh, so that boss is now dead. Now we continue the run into new territory. No more desert, no more sand, no more marauders, no more leaper lizards, no more kanga rats. For now, at least. Uh, we are now in Haven City. Now, this is where we actually go into Act 2 of Haven City. 
if you were playing casually. You would go left to continue the story, but we're gonna go right. We're basically gonna glitch our way into act three. Just screw act two entirely, act three, the final act of the game where the final boss is just like that. Oh, if I can stop bouncing everywhere. So let me ask you this, Kershaw, as somebody who is just, so 2022, your first full year of being in this community, Mm -hmm. Do you have any goals for like what you're what you're like looking to accomplish or do, are you just like kind of, you know, seeing how it goes? Honestly, yeah, I'm just going with the flow, man. Like I don't really have any crazy goals like world record by, you know, Bay or, you know, I'm just kind of having fun. It's really fun just learning your favorite game. Like it's, it's a crazy experience how like the game you've been playing all your life there's more to it that blows your mind. And I'm figuring out all these new glitches and bugs. That in itself is my goal. Just, you know, playing this game to its fullest, mm. speed run wise and figuring out all these glitches and bugs. And, you know, um, I it's just fun speed running. I love doing races with my friends over Discord and, you know, just having a good time is my goal, I think. Eventually I'll have like a goal like, oh, maybe, you know, I'll get top. 10 and any percent no oob mm -hmm. but that's going to be you know a long time from now yeah yeah i think it's but, best to, yeah. to kind of view it that way as well like speedrunning really is so, like i know there's a lot of like glory or, or that gets attached to to world records in the community and things like that but yeah i really do think that the heart of speedrunning is just like doing it for fun and doing it for like your own self-improvement you know like definitely every, every day just getting a little bit better and just like enjoying the time that you have with like people who just love the same thing that you do you know exactly like this is my first internet community that i've actually been in the longest like yeah like you play different games like like oh the call of duty community you know you hop in their discord for a bit and you get bored of call of duty or maybe destiny maybe you know like you you community hop a lot uh, but this is the first community, speedrunning community or the Jack community, whatever you want to call it, that I don't want to leave. You know, mm. I'm I'm so excited every day to hop in that Discord and see what you know they're talking about, and you know it's just great. Having fun is the goal, definitely. Because yeah. I feel like if you if you get into speedrunning with the goal of hitting world record, you might burn yourself out very fast, and you will not enjoy yourself. Oh yeah, it's true. I've seen it happen a lot. Yeah, right. So just have fun with it, you know? Even more so if it's your childhood favorite game, because you already know it very well. You know, it's just, it's just a good time, you know? Uh, any goals you got? Oh, man. Uh, it's kind of funny. I, <laughs> I decided that, like, for a very long time, I only ever ran the first three Ratchet games. I mean, to be fair, that's what, like, 95% of the community runs. And so, like, they're the most explored, they're, and they're pretty much, like, the most optimized games. Like, if, if you want to be considered, like, a like a, a top-tier Ratchet runner, you got to run at least one of the first three games at, like, a really high level, right? Uh -huh. um, and so for a long, long time, I tried to just be the best I could at all three. But I kind of realized that that goal was just, like, really small, I guess. Like... Like, if I wanted to really show how much I love this series, I should run all of the games. And so, and there's, I think, what is it, 15 or 16 games in the Ratchet series now? Oh my um, gosh. So my I'm goal, <laughs> my goal this year, uh, don't, don't get too jealous. Most of them suck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, my goal this yeah, year, though, here. is uh, to get to ideally uh, top level, but we're going to have to see. Um, Ideally top level at at least one category in every single uh, Ratchet game. So that's like my big goal for the year. Nice, um, nice. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Some of them are going to be easier than others. Um, like I, I already did it in um, Into the Nexus, which was the last PlayStation 3 Ratchet. Um, but there's like a lot of them that are like really long or really dumb. So I'm kind of dreading the process of going to those ones. But right now I'm doing Ratchet 1 because I just haven't been good at this game in a really long time. So like I said, like uh, four and a half years since I've had the world record in this category. So I wanted to just come back and see if I could still do it, you know? Yeah, man. Like, just enjoy the process. Like, exactly. I feel, I feel like I feel weird giving you speedrun advice, you know? <laughs> no, cause... that's okay. That's okay. Like, everybody <laughs> yeah. has different perspectives. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Yeah, like, just enjoy the process, because I feel like 
Like, l let's say you hit all your goals in the next week. Would that really be fun? No, not at all. Yeah, like, it's just the journey is what makes it fun. The Absolutely. trial, the error, the PBs, the failures, you know, the journey getting there, seeing, like, your times get knocked down, you know, every time, that's the fun of it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not fun if you just hit it immediately and, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's true, though. Like, uh, you know, it's like... Um, I remember I had a teacher who once told me that, uh, like, the happiest man in the entire world is a guy who never accomplishes his goals. And it's like, at first you're like, wait, what? That makes absolutely no sense. But, <laughs> yeah. but it's like, that means that, like, that person got to spend their entire life being motivated and doing everything that they love doing, you know? Like, they never had to, like, hit their goal and then wonder what's next, you know? Every day he woke up, he or she woke up. Yeah. And they had a goal. They had something to get them out of bed. Absolutely. You know, they were happy to do what they wanted to do. You know, it's it's great. Like, of course, hit your goals. Obviously, that's the end goal. But yeah, we, trust we're, the process. We're not, trying to, we're not trying to be last place on the leaderboard here. Like, we got some yeah. goals. Yeah, I don't like speed running that much. You know, to <laughs> <laughs> no. but yeah, and that goes with anything. Speed running. You know, if you want to be a Twitch streamer, YouTuber. You know, just. Uh, School, work, just any, whatever you're into, just enjoy the process, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that's with anything. I hated high school, but now I wish I kind of, you know, took my time with it more. I want I wanted to get out so bad, like I hate school, just graduate already, but now I'm like, damn, I'm getting kind of old. I kind of miss high school a little bit, you know? <laughs> so, just a tiny bit, for the social aspect for the most part. Well, I, I could definitely see that. I think I think everybody's taking a hit to like their the social part of their brain. Like we're all aching to just like go out and just like hug people. And, yeah, like, you like, know, like we're like, come on, man. Like, can I get real. something? Give me for something. For real, I'm telling you, I've been looking at my body pillow a little too, you know, <laughs> lovingly lately. I'm gonna be honest. Before it was just there, but now I'm like, <laughs> let's cuddle. <laughs> let's you know, but, that, you yeah. said that with so much confidence. I was going to call that a self out, and now I can't even call it. You just, like, <laughs> oh, respect, dude. You just owned it. I, I, I got nothing but respect for you saying I'm that. I'm going to say it like I, yo, I'm going to say it. I, yo, I am proud to say I have a body pillow. <laughs> all right, her name, her name. So for, for you anime homies out there, ReZero, ReZero, Rem. I have a Rem body pillow, the blue-haired chick, all right? I was obsessed with her for, like, uh, you know, maybe like a few months. <laughs> I still like her, but I'm not obsessed, you know. Uh, but yeah, that body pillow is comfy as hell, bro. I'm telling you, it's it's it has gotten me through some lonely nights. So my body pillow homies in chat rise up. Nothing to be ashamed of. All right. We're going to have a body pillow convention next year. All right. <laughs> yeah, Bring your face. It's going to happen Yo. right after GDQ. Right after GDQ. It's the GDQ after party, basically, <laughs> you know? Wash first, though. Wash that pillow first. I don't want no uh, musty pillows in the <laughs> the auditorium. Yeah, but, oh, I, my never, health is gone. I've never seen ReZero. It's, it's, uh, I've, I've become a bit of a weeb over pandemic. I'll admit it. I used to be like a, a, like a teeny weeb, like back in the day. And now yeah. I'm now I'm like now I'm like an adolescent weeb. Like I've seen a lot of stuff at this point, but I still haven't seen uh, ReZero yet. Is it good? It is amazing. Season one is good. Season two is like, you know, there's a lot. It's kind of confusing, but you know, uh, I'm trying to see how to explain it without spoiling. Basically, there's like a lot of plot twists, and like, basically, it's like. It's not for the faint of heart sometimes. It's not like, it looks like friendly. Like, oh, uh, uh, the anime protagonist is in a brand new world. There's elves, there's, you know, mages. It's like an RPG or MMO, whatever the hell. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like, oh, this looks like a very nice anime. Very friendly, very, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's definitely a good watch and it definitely keeps you at the edge of your chair. So I definitely recommend it. Although if you're, if you like a happy-go-lucky anime, then maybe not. But yeah. if you like intense anime, then yeah. If you want something happier, you should watch something like uh, Madoka Magica. You know, like... Stop it! Stop it! Don't! You are so mean! <laughs> you are... Guys, do not... <laughs> yeah, don't listen to this man! He what? is feeding you what? lies! What did I say? <laughs> Madoka! 
Oh, I remember I watched that years ago. That tugged on my heartstrings a little. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I I too have been starting like to watch a lot of anime over the pandemic, and by a lot of anime, I mean I watched literally every dubbed episode of One Piece in like two months. Uh, Bro, you you yeah. picked the hardest thing to get into. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I've watched some other stuff since. Th well, I've watched other stuff before that too. But now I have like this big long list because now I have to wait for more dubs, right? So I'm like, well, I still have Funimation. I might as well watch some other stuff. So uh -huh. I have this big long list of anime that I gotta watch now. I just finished up Angel Beats, uh, which is pretty oh, good. Oh, that tugged on my heartstrings too. Yeah. All these sad yeah, that animes. Was a, that was sad. Oh, uh, I remember that. No. Yeah. So I. I've got like things like Mob Psycho and like Yu Yu Hakusho and like all these classics that everyone talks about that I've never watched yet that are all on my list that I'll, Yu Yu I'll Hakusho get to eventually. Yu Yu Hakusho is so good, but my recommendation is pretend the show stops after the 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 tournament. Just like do yourself gotcha, a okay. favor. Well, actually, <laughs> the season after the tournament isn't that bad, but the last season of Yu Yu Hakusho is absolutely miserable. It is a terrible season. So that's good to know. Yeah, that's that's just my my slight rate. It's like um, kind of like Promise Neverland. I always tell people just pretend it ends after season one. Yeah, don't watch season two of Promise Neverland, guys. It is a disappointment it's, if you ever want to get into just that. It's not good. Not, it not is not good. good. <laughs> just read the manga if you want to or some. But yeah, a lot of animes nowadays, they have such a strong season one, strong part one, but then it just falls short the longer it goes. That's why I like 12 episode animes or 24 episode. It has a ending and it's solid, you know? What would, you, what would you say is like the intro anime? Like the like anybody who is about, like has never seen an anime and has no idea where one to start. One Punch Man. Really? I was about to say One Punch one Man, punch probably. Man. Because it's comedic, Only season it's one, action. Though. Season two is bad. Season I, one of One Punch Man, very yeah, good. Yeah, my homies told me to not bother with season two, I never did. Don't, but One yeah, Punch don't, Man don't watch is fire. It. Don't watch season two, but I recommend One Punch Man because it's comedic, it's action-packed, the characters are lovable, it also has its sad moments as well. It has everything, you know? It has, it, it just has a lot. Um, and it's OG only 12 episodes. Ball. Yeah, OG Dragon Ball is another really good one, Ooh. but it's a lot longer, so yeah. a little harder. A little more commitment, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, oh, my go-to has all, like, I have to start using One Punch Man. I forgot how, like, accessible that one is. My go-to answer has always been Samurai Champloo. Oh, I need to watch that. I watched, the, I watched, like, part of it, but I just never continued it, really. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I have the ending theme of that on my Spotify and I listen to it all the time, but I never finished it. What are you doing, know. man? You... Yeah, like, I don't know why. Like, it's just, I'm backwards, but uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, I am on the final boss right now. This is the final level, final boss of the game. Uh, and this boss is also hit or miss because he has a billion attacks. And if you die, of course, you got to start it from scratch. So... Uh, if I'll, I don't talk for a while, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a little focused, but yeah. Also, it's hit or miss because he never misses. And you are trying to be hip and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a few years too late, but you know, good effort, you know. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Wait, so are you trying to tell me that Gangnam Style isn't cool anymore? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that your brain's on slow mode right now. You are a few, like... <laughs> I don't know. I just, you, I think you were in a coma for a few years. <laughs> there was, uh, I remember uh, back in the pot in the heyday of Facebook, there was always uh, Pokemon Profile Picture Month. It was always, I think it was December of every month was Profile Pokemon Profile Picture Month, and uh, I would always wait until like January or February, and then I would make my profile picture Slowpoke. I'd be like, hey guys, I heard it's Pokemon Profile Picture Month. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, I used to be a big Pokemon head like when I was younger. I I watched the show. I enjoyed the games. Pokemon Black and White is my favorite. It's unpopular. Apparently Gen 5 is a very unpopular gen apparently, but I enjoyed Black and White. But after that, I kind of just lost interest in Pokemon. I feel like the games kind of just, I don't know. It didn't hit the spot no more, you know? I heard that uh, Black and White 2 was really, really good. I never played anything past Gen 4 because I didn't own a 3DS, so I, I never uh, got the chance. Black and White was on the the, the DS Lite, or the DSi, so... 
Um, you, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> do you? We, we don't have to talk about that. Do you know the order of the DSs after the after the DS light? <laughs> um, it was the three DS. Lord, 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 the, have mercy. And then the four DS, which uh, hooked up to your brain. Uh, and it, then there was the. Uh, the the Facebook Metaverse DS. Yo, just stop while you're ahead. <laughs> I mean, I wish that Metaverse DS sounds kind of heat, but I don't, uh, know, I don't think Zim was ahead at any point there. Like stopping while you're ahead was never an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, the DS was my first handheld. I wish I I never had a Game Boy, which I, I'm kind of sad I didn't because apparently that was a legendary era. Uh, yeah. You're really making Zim feel old now. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a Game Boy? Bro, nah. that, a, a Game Boy, bro? Like, no, the, the DS was in by the time my consciousness started, bro. You ever have that age where, like, you're just conscious for the you're first time? You're making me feel old now. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> like, bro, I don't remember anything under five years old. I think five or six is when my consciousness first started. I'm like, oh, I'm alive. I'm on planet Earth. And then the DS was there. So, yeah. <laughs> and I had a Game Boy I Color. Had, yeah, Zim had, I had a, Game a Game Boy, Boy Color. Pocket, a Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advanced SP. I even had the the oh that was, that the, was good the little stuff. yeah I remember because with my Game Boy Advance I had to use that worm light as I was traveling with my family like the the really like dull light that didn't light up anything and made you just strain your eyes even more. It was rough stuff. How many Game Boys were there? A, a billion. A lot. There yeah, were a lot. At least I had I had the attachment for my Game Boy Color that was like a light and a magnifying glass that went over like the screen that since it also wasn't backlit. Yeah. Wow, they made so many accessories Damn, for, for those things. First try, you'll just you'll just never know. You'll never know the pleasure of Finding a bunch of accessories. What's it like Game to Boy be Color? so privileged <laughs> to, have, to have the light that was like ten times better than the worm light? <laughs> I was like, Mom, I want that one. She's like, You're gonna get the worm light, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> I was like, oh. I don't think I had a light for my advance. But, yeah, that's true. You know, then the SP came and saved all of us. And now it's just like you know, you just take your switch and it does everything. Uh, I think I'm about to get time here, so he's gonna smack me with his nose and give himself a headache real quick because he has bad aim. And then when he shows us his booty hole, we are going to shoot right up there, and boom, that is time for any percent no oob of Jack 3. GG's, man. Thank you, thank you, thank Too you. Good. I couldn't G -G. keep up. I'm, uh. <laughs> I'm. Yeah, oh. I think you're gonna be pretty happy. You're gonna be pretty happy What's with this time. time? Oh, my heart's palpitating right now. Let me, if let me if wait until under it pops up on stream real quick so I can confirm it. Oh, so close to a PV. Like I, I actually a, PV'd uh, 54. A what was it? 54 or something. Or Maybe in the 20s or the 10s. I can't remember, but that, that was very close to a PV. So. Yeah, very good yeah. stuff, man. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised I even got a 54 or a 55 with all that you know talking and all that i thought i was doing crap to be honest but <laughs> yeah that is a solid uh, run thank you guys solid run gg i when i stream i don't shut up right i be talking 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 i talk to hear my voice sometimes so the room's less lonely you know <laughs> so like it's, it's it's so maybe that's why it's just second nature you know TwitchTV.com, Twitch D, uh, Twitch.tv slash Kashara, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. I'm, I get to be, uh, you gotta have your time in the sun. Well, now you know, you're just a for a second. But I am Astral finishing up. I just wanted awesome. to say that. Quick. I, I don't, I don't know, that was kind of a weird interjection. I didn't really know what else to say. Um, aside from Twitch.tv slash 792 as well. <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, this is the final boss. We skipped him in NG+, but we do have to fight him in this category. Um... And he is giving me bad patterns, but I'm gonna make the most of it anyway. Um, yeah, this is actually like kind of hard. Like it's actually a good thing that we skip this boss fight in NG+, because it is a little tricky. 
Uh, you have to follow him around with pretty precise movement, and if you mess up, there's a, a chance that you can get RNG'd and just lose a ton of time. But I did kill him, and it's come, time is coming up as I press this button. In three, two, one. Uh, time. Uh, time. <laughs> time. <laughs> Yo, I, I actually imagine C like on the time button, like, uh, 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 time. <laughs> uh, time. All right, yeah, well, that's time, everybody. But yeah, GG's nice. curse chart. You whoop GG. my butt. Sometimes uh, you just got it like that, man. You, I, I got to hold the L. You kicked my did butt two I, times. Did in I a row. beat the legendary <laughs> Zem? The Zem dude, everyone was dude, talking about? Dude, the, the, the... Dude, it, it just goes to show I, I ain't nothing, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I been, You're great, man. No. You're great. <laughs> I've been speedrunning for how long you kicked my keister in two months. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, nah, how about I learn Ratchet, you learn Jack sometime in the future, and that's the real showdown. I, I would you know? love that, man. I'll, I'll take that rematch. Yo, I got you. I'll teach you, you teach me. <laughs> Sounds good, dude. That was close. Thanks. My arm appears to be badly damaged. Ah, you'll be all right. Uh, uh of course. <laughs> Twitch TV. <laughs> Slash Kershar. Uh, I'm a Jack 3 runner, but we are very heavy on variety as well. Uh, I'm a meme streamer, so I have a bunch of overlays. And as you see, I'm in a hot tub right now. This is just one of 60 overlays I have of random stuff. So there's a lot in my stream that you haven't even, you know, imagined yet. But yeah, Twitch TV slash Kershar. Uh, I'm on Twitter as well, Kashar, with one extra R at the end because someone took Kashar back in 2008 when I wasn't even potty trained yet. I just exposed myself, sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and uh, I'm Zem92 on Twitch. Uh, that's where you can find me. I'm Zemipoo, X-E-M-M-Y-P-O-O -O, yeah. on pretty much every other social media platform, Twitter, uh, yeah, you do just let me know when that's ready. But it's kind of, I mean, yeah, as long as you know Zen, you you'll figure here. out Why don't you the rest tell of it's not chat and everyone uh, yeah. where we my, can find you. I find would all say that time. I have tons of cool overlays, but I just have one where it zooms in on my face really far. And I would say my community is really cool, but they all just bully me constantly. So um, <laughs> if you feel like coming in and bullying me as well as the rest of the people in my chat, you can feel free to do so. I, I'm at, at this point, I'm a punching bag. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks again, both of you. Uh, it was, this was probably the most fun that I've had watching one of my shows, and you made my job easy. You two just like took it away. I didn't have to do anything. It was great. But I got to earn my keep, so I've got one more announcement for everyone before we finish up. Uh, so stay tuned because right after this, we still have Ocarina Improv tonight, uh, which is our show about uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer uh, with commentary aimed at beginners, so people looking to learn Zooter. Uh, so that's a sweet show that you need to stick around for. And then make sure you come back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern uh, for Going Places, which is our show about handheld and regional exclusive games, uh, which is also a super cool concept. So that's all that we have for What's Faster tonight, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back.